You're listening to the No Techers podcast. No Techers podcast. No Techers. What? Man said Bon Gerard. Is he <laughs> <laughs> The No Techers podcast. Come on, man. Let's get it, get it. Right, No Techers podcast, episode 33. I'm your host. I'm your host, Brad. Uh, my right. my co-host here, PSC, I'm back. I'm back. is back. Bond the Mr. AK Bond the stats. And we got a special guest in the building. Yep. Man like Big Davo. <laughs> AKA Craig Davis in the building. Round of applause. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank How are you feeling, man? How you doing? I'm all right, man. Just yeah. uh, trying to get through this lockdown. The, oh, I'm brother. Too much weight, man. <laughs> <laughs> what I mean? um, have you been training? <sighs> little bits, to be honest with you. Not loads, but just like little bits. Mm. Um, had access to a gym pretty much like there's a guy that I know and he's allowed to train athletes and that's so why yeah, 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 yeah. here and there on the weekend. Okay. But with it coming to the back end of the season, I'm not yeah. really going crazy because I'm not looking to play this season. You know yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. How's it how's it well season wise, how's your season been? Well, to be fair, I've been at home most of the season. <laughs> <laughs> I've been yeah. doing my team still. Ultimate team, so, yeah. How's your ultimate team? I've been on Call of Duty, I said um, no joke certain times for like three four hours a day at certain points you know because yeah. obviously the gyms are closed like yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, just, yeah. Like, what can you do and i just think like there's only so many walks so many you can go on go for yeah yeah so it's been it's been nice to have the downtime because literally since year 11 at school i've literally been full time in football mm. so that's 20 years that's a lot of time i didn't finish school like literally mm. i went i went to man city at, at 15 and then i've just Till, till Mansfield, that was like literally 19, what, 19 years, do you know what I mean? Where mm. literally it's just been the same routine. So it's yeah. kind of like been a little bit nice to have a little bit of downtime, to spend a little bit of time mm. family, etc. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's How been you found that break? difference between having that routine every single day to just going, bang, no routine? Talking to the... Um, like, brother. do you know what it is? Yeah, I'll be honest with you. I'll hold it. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what it is? I'll be honest with you. Like, I think sometimes people look at the thing like, ah, oh, footballers get paid a certain amount of money. And yeah, they do, mm. do you know what I'm saying? Mm. Regardless whether that's in League Two, you're earning good money, or in the Premiership, you're earning obviously unbelievable money, life-changing yeah. money. But the little things you miss sometimes and people don't realise the It's a lot things, of sacrifice. You know? Yeah. So like, just little things, like silly things where people will be like, ah, oh, they'll make silly comments like, well, oh, if I was earning that much money, I would do the same. But after a while, you get used to that money. So you're missing out on like, for instance, my daughter, yeah? I missed out on so much when she was younger off being away. Mm. Do you know what I mean? School plays, little little things like that where now I can, you know, you she's enjoy got, those she, moments. She's, she's a bit more grown now. Yeah. She Sports days, etc. I'm there now, yeah, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. Even like Christmas and stuff? Yeah, yeah. man, this is the first is Christmas I had at home. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I could have a drink, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, and yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It, like, li- realistically, I wanted to like go away at Christmas, yeah. you know what I mean? But, with what's going on, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Last thing I want to do is get stuck. You know what I mean? So I just hold back for now. Well, uh, let's just talk about your football journey for a bit then. Um, yeah. As you mentioned, you started at Man City. Yeah. Big club now. Yeah, yeah. Um, wasn't, it's a lot of difference yeah. in, what, what 17 years? What was it like back then? Yeah. Like, to be fair, even though, like, obviously, they're, they're a massive club now, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But at the time, they was big. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, they yeah. was like a sleeping giant type thing. Yeah. Like, when I was there... He was the star man there at the time. At the time, they had like Sean Golter. Yeah, Sean Golter was like the top man, but yeah. we got promoted. But at the time, I could have gone to Leeds. So Leeds were in the like um, the top two Champions at the time. League, yeah. yeah, like yeah. that was when they kind of got to like yeah. the Champions League semi final and that. But I went up to Leeds and trained and that. And I was there. I went there twice. I went there for like five days, and then I went there a couple of weeks later for a week. Mm. And when I went there, they had like I swear they had like Vaduka, Alan Smith, Jeez. Bobby Keane. And I remember sitting there Ian looking Hart at that. that mm, yeah, like all of them. Like, Rio, yeah. Rio was there. Yeah, and yeah. Like, Carrie Cool and, cool and yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Big boy team. Yeah, man, yeah. Yeah. And I remember being there and I remember thinking the pathway for me to get in this team is just yeah, non-existent. Yeah. Do you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And then like they had like, um, they had like, uh, you had to live on site. Do you know what I mean? Like in like, mm, digs and yeah, like, yeah. But, like they had like an, like an apartment block and everybody mm. lived in there. And there was a lot of Irish boys there at the time. There was like little, little groups and that. And I just thought, I'm going to clash here. <laughs> and I'll end up, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. I'll end up clashing because mm. I just didn't really feel like I, I fitted in as well. And then I went to City to train, but I was I was going to go to Leeds at the time. Mm. I went to City to train and just 
I just bopped up on Mandem, you know what I'm saying? There was like Bradley White Phillips, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd know that like, there was a couple of other boys that would like you probably wouldn't know, do you know what I mean? Mm. Like, but literally, like there was another brother called Carlos Logan. His brother plays. Uh, do you know Shalem Logan? Yeah, yeah Shalem yeah. Logan's brother was in my team. That was yeah. my guy. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so like, yeah, yeah. literally, I went there and I felt like I fitted in. So even though there was like in the champ at the time, there was about to get promoted. Yeah. Yeah. There was a massive club still getting thirty five, forty thousand. So how did that whole opportunity come around because obviously you're a local boy so, so i was at, i was at shrewsbury so like like i was at shrewsbury um like from like under 11s or so in 12s it's funny because like villa like i wanted to go villa or blues you know what i mean yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. back then they was yeah. like the top two but they, they was never on it they was literally never yeah. on it and yeah. the villa scout would come to watch me play and they'd just be like nah there's something about him i'm not really feeling whatever <laughs> yeah. yeah they end up going to shrewsbury they end up doing really well at shrewsbury um and then uh Played in the Victory Shield, you know the Victory Shield. Yeah, yeah, I heard like, of it. Played in the Victory Shield, done well, and then literally, for Wales was it? Yeah, for Wales, yeah. I played for for Wales in the Victory Shield, and then literally next thing I know, like house phone back then, obviously. Yeah, the border, border, don't move around the hard and that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so like the house phone was ringing, and then like would ring, it was ringing off. Like there was literally, it was funny because Villa actually come in at the time. There was mm. like a, there was like three or four mm. clubs. Villa come in, I wasn't interested then at the time as well. I, like not. Can you remember the other clubs? Yeah, there was obviously City, Leeds, um, Tottenham wanted me to go down there as well, and um, obviously Villa. Like they was the teams at the time. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But I think sometimes you got to look at certain things, and as much as you want to be like believe in yourself, you want to go to a club where you can flourish. You can you can you can, you can break through. Yeah. I think sometimes you can look at some of these clubs, and you're not really going to get a chance. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're really, yeah, yeah, you're not yeah, going to get yeah. unless you're yeah. Phil Foden. Or, do you know what I mean? Like, Or the manager believes in you. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. even like at City when I was there, I look now, and like, we had Daniel Sturridge. Daniel Sturridge is like two years younger than me, right? Serious, serious footballer. Yeah. Ridiculous. Doesn't get the respect he deserves. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, people talk I about... We got Sturridge. Yeah. Like, <laughs> we know this. Yeah, we got You know what? Like, sometimes, like, I remember having an argument one time back in the day in the barbers, yeah, with some youth, and he was just like, you know how a certain man getting the barbers, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Everybody's premiership football is in there. Yeah. And the geezer's there, and he's talking, he's talking about... Um, well back in that Man United fan news you say that like Welbs. shout yeah. out Welbs. Yeah. He, like don't get me wrong Danny Welbs, but I wouldn't, you, I'm a man I'll never disrespect a man that's yeah. had a better career than me I'll yeah, never because yeah, they yeah. played mm. at a level I haven't played at yeah. so I can't never yeah, disrespect yeah, him yeah. This geezer in the barbers is talking about Welbeck and saying that Welbeck was better than storage. And I was like, bro, like, what are you talking? To the point where it's yeah. getting heated in the yeah, barbers. Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm getting heated now. Because I'm like, you know, cause obviously, like, I'm, like, oh, what? I'm like, what are you on about? I'm saying this geezer's doing this at Chelsea. And yeah, the yeah, geezer's yeah. not having it. But yeah. don't really feel like he probably got the respect he deserved till he went to Liverpool. Yeah. Mm. And then, and he, he kind His of... His goal to game ratio yeah. is And then it, people look at it now when they speak about it, they're like... They think it's just because of Suarez. Nah, yeah, but it's bro. not. He's been doing that since. Yeah. It's eight years since old. Since he could walk. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> since this man was young, bro. Bro. Yeah. But like, I look at him now and I think to myself, if he come through now, mm. would he get the opportunity to play mm. at City now? Yeah. I don't know whether he would. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Well, obviously, well, Aguero's, but maybe three years ago, yeah. would he have got that opportunity? Because football yeah. sometimes, as you know yourself, it's about timing. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. Classic example, Rashford. Rashford would be in probably League One or the Championship now. If oh, so, that's a no, 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 no. I get what you say, bro. Whoa! Don't be that disrespect, dis, no, disrespectful way at all. But I'm on about like the timing that it just all his opportunity would have had to go on loan. Yeah, yeah, Ashley yeah, Fletcher yeah. is that Ashley Fletcher, uh, the one that went to Barnsley and uh, yeah, Middlesbrough. Yeah, uh, West Ham. We went yeah. to West Ham. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. was ahead of him and went on loan. Then, mm. then one bag of injuries happened. I heard that my mum was going to go crew, and they was like, no, no, no. When you at Sheffield Wednesday as well. No, nah, that one. No, nah, you're on about Stephen Fletcher. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Stephen Wrong Fletcher. Fletcher. Sorry, my dad. You should have got the Scottish dad. He's about me. He's only the last one. I was thinking of you. No, he's still, he's still doing his thing. He's at Stoke, isn't it? Is he? Yeah, he's at Stoke. He's still doing his thing. Like he's doing his stuff still. I'm not gonna lie, but but I'm saying sometimes football is about timing. You know what I'm saying? So you you would have played with man yourself that if it was the right time for them or the right manager. They would have brought them through. Do you know yeah, what I'm saying? 100. percent If you're a if you're a passing midfielder and you've got a long ball manager, he's not going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not, you know what I'm saying? And that that, that that that's real. That's yeah, real, yeah, real yeah. True, 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 true. Like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, so you've been to a numerous a numerous amount of clubs. Yeah. What would you say? Well, let's, first let's talk about. Um, you went to Hellas Verona. Yeah. Talk us through that experience because 
Like, How I've, does that I've, even happen? I, I, I've, <laughs> I've heard some things about Italian football, yeah. And they're not nice. <laughs> <laughs> like, what no, like, heard like, 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 like the racism yeah, is like, I, I in went, your I face. Went to, I went on a tour to Italy when I was like 12 or 13. Yeah. And like, Obviously, it was, it was just a kids' tournament. It's nothing big. Mm. But even there, you could yeah. tell there was, like, an atmosphere. Yeah, yeah, And then yeah. my centre-back partner, was, who was also black, he, he said he heard one, because he's French as well, yeah. so he heard one of the, the players say something. Yeah. Well, which in, was common in, back then. Like, obviously, he speaks other languages. Yeah. So he picked up on it, whereas, yeah. obviously, we didn't. Yeah, yeah. And, obviously, he's kicking off, and we're just looking around. Well, so like, what, so what year would that have been? Like, under 13s or something. And it wasn't one of the players, it was one of the parents. But, bro, you know as much as I do, like, this stuff goes on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But that's, that's what I want to say, because, like, when we was young, and we, although we, we knew about it, we didn't really acknowledge it and understand, like, the... Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a different experience, on. I suppose, being on the pitch and having, you know, any amount of fans, mm. never mind but, like, a the whole away side is just yeah. hounding you. I, bro, I'll be honest with you, I got banned from international football for 18 months. For for, for for a situation that happened where oh, I can't remember who it's against, yeah. We'll be able to get it up, like, but quite a long story short, racism on the pitch, and I kicked off, ended up hitting one of the geezers and spitting at the other geezer. Mm. Shouldn't have mm. done it, but at the end of the day, people will turn around and they'll be like, oh, you shouldn't have done that. But listen, at yeah, the end of the yeah, day, you've never been in that situation, mm. innit? You tell me, as a black geezer, yeah. like, because a lot of the people at the top of football are white, so they can never tell me. Yeah. About how it feels to be racially mm, abused. I don't yeah. give a shit. Yeah. Oh, excuse my language. No, <laughs> yeah, we'll, I don't. We'll I don't care. <laughs> and then, you know what I'm saying? People can't tell me nothing. Yeah. yeah. So I've handled it. I've handled it. Shouldn't have handled it like that. But at the end of the day, it was what it was. I was young, hot headed. So how old were you at, at the time? In, it was under twenty ones. This was. So like literally, yeah. it was mad because the twenty ones manager loved me. Because mm. like at the time, yeah, when I was coming through, there wasn't nobody that was getting in the first team. Mm. So it was me and another brother called David Cottrell that were pushing the first mm. team. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'd already played at this point for the national for the first team for Wales, right? Mm. So the 21s manager loved me. He was even trying to push me through a move to Charlton at one point as well when yeah, uh, yeah. him and Kirbishley were tight. But then when I come off the pitch, yeah, I'll never, I'll never forget this, you know. Like when I come off the pitch and he was like, what happened? And I told him what had happened. Mm. It was like I was the bad guy. Don't get me wrong. Mm. Like I said, I handled mm. it bad. Do you know mm. what I'm saying? But, but at the same time, like played. it was like raw, and I kind of got cast out to dry. Yeah, you know, on my own. Like it was like raw. <clears throat> he got sent off. But the first team manager at the time liked me, John Toshak, and mm. he could see something that he yeah. liked. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? But I never forget how that made me feel. I thought to myself like yeah, raw, yeah, and I know yeah. like I kind of got the blame, and nothing got mm. done or said about it. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. And that's how it was back then in football. Like you're a little bit younger than me, PSC, but. I remember, like, sometimes if you said, they've said this to me, I'd just ignore it. Yeah, yeah, I got told that a few times. Yeah. Though. Yeah, yeah. I've had Obviously, using, this, using the same game with the first, first year. Yeah, incident. yeah, yeah. I was had that injection. I was like, Benny Mott. Benny you know? <laughs> Yo, yeah, but yeah, but obviously, that whole situation is, is similar in the sense of what happened, but how it was dealt with was different. Just because, I think, because... Now it's so highlighted yeah. in, in the press and everything. Mm. I feel like that's why it was dealt with how it was dealt with. Whereas if it was a few years back where nobody really is watching, they would have been like, ah, just But you need to remember it. as well, that game, yeah, you've got like five or six, seven black men with mm. you, mixed race man. Like even, even on their team? You, you no, know, but I'm on about mm. in your team to back. Yeah, 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 when yeah, when yeah. this happened with Wales, I was the only man. Yeah. So it's just yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. that true, disruptive. True. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's easy to just get rid of one. Yeah. If you got to get rid of half it's, it's, the team. It's, 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 yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, like, yeah. it's like an attitude thing. Yeah. But it's funny because as soon as the ban got lifted, Tashak straight away just come up to the first team to the point where I'd get called up to the first team, but not the 21s. They'd mm. never send me with the 21s. Mm. My manager just kind of... Yeah, Who yeah, was that manager on the 21 one? Brian Flynn. Okay. Was it Bristol? No, he was at Wrexham, Swansea. Mm. I don't know what he's. Uh, I think he's high. He's quite high up now, but that's how you you know as well as I do. Like certain things, I've had fights with teammates when they've come out of racist, racist comments. Mm-hmm. So when people turn around to me and tell me about racism is not in football, yeah, I'm it's... telling you now they're talking nonsense. And the, the whole thing with taking a knee, right? Fair enough. Like it's big in that, but. Don't don't I, I don't believe that certain people should be doing it because they don't mean it. Yeah, yeah, so don't yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I know that yeah. certain man will be running running joke and be like, oh, you have to do this again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Certain man, yeah, I'd yeah, prefer yeah. a man to stand up and be yeah, like, the people. Yeah. Are I be think like, oh. Zaha came yeah. out. So and you would, said would, he, you, he would you take the knee or would you stand? 
I'd probably just stand up, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Mm. Not because obviously, like, I think to myself, like, as much as people are turn around and be like, oh, it's it's you know, people are taking note. Are they really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are, yeah. They, are they really? Mm. Because at the end of the day, it's more powerful to walk off the pitch yeah. because I'm not going. Mm, yeah? yeah, like I said, I'm not going. For instance, if I'm England captain, if I'm England player, yeah, for instance, Raheem Sterling. I'm not going they say go to the captain I'm not going to Harry Kane mm. Harry Kane is a mm. white guy so mm. he won't understand how I feel yeah, he can't I'm walking off the pitch yeah, yeah, yeah. that alone will speak volumes yeah. because now it's like the brother that done it for Valencia the other day yeah, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. they they had to go back out and play that's what I mean like that what, what what actually happened with that because I know they walked off the pitch but then the guy I think that done it or said it had to because he, 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 he sent them back on the pitch didn't he apparently the, um, the guy that got racial abused, they all went off with him and then he told them because apparently they were going to get in trouble or something. Yeah, because so he gonna... told them to go back out and but play. But that's what yeah. I'm saying. If, the, if Valencia should have turned around and be like, no, we're yeah, not. Yeah, because understand. the statement that sends yeah, out yeah, that's, what what I mean, that's, a, that's a powerful message. For what, yeah. three points? Yeah, yeah. Mm. But, and then, what's the league going to do? It makes them have to make a decision. Exactly, there bro. You go. Some of these clubs, bro, a uh, serious note, they're getting fined like 20, 30 grand. That's it. Countries. 20, 30 <laughs> grand. <laughs> not, even, not even clubs, countries. <laughs> Come on, bro. A certain man in the prem that spend that on their holiday. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, bro. Like, <laughs> no, but it's a, it's real. Like, yeah. obviously, I think that until it comes from the top properly, do you know what I'm saying? Because they they push what they want to push. Yeah, of course. You know what I mean? You get mm. banned for drugs for nine months. Mm. So, and and that might not even be like. You like might Paddy Kenny, test. I know Paddy Kenny. Yeah. yeah, right. Paddy Kenny got done for for taking a cough medicine for nine months because mm. it had a banned substance in it. But yet you can you can call somebody the N word or whatever or be That's disrespectful. Yeah. Forest we got five games. Five games, bro. What's that? Five. <laughs> Outrageous. Come on. But um, back to your experience. Yeah, in Italy. Sorry, <laughs> in Italy. You touched the nerve. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> touched the nerve. Nah, but it's good because obviously we want to get that message out. Like, yo, yeah. it's unacceptable to be racist anywhere. Never mind in world mm. football, where I would say majority of the players are black. Yeah, mm. you get what I'm saying and. I just feel like, again, from the top down, it just needs to, the message needs to be better. I think slowly society, society to a degree is kind of like, it, it is kind of changing, but very slow mm-hmm. until they do certain things with the, um, with Twitter and like, you know, if the, I the social on, media, yeah, 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 the default. social media people. Thierry's just come off as well, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Until, until that, until that happens. It's it's kind of still because yeah. obviously like what Kata last night and Trent Alexander Arnold racially abused. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, like mm. it's gonna keep on happening until mm. they do something. You get mm. me? Therefore, therefore. Oh yeah, um, to their own yeah. team. Yeah. So basically, I broke through in the first team at Oxford, um, and the guy that was trying to take over at the time was like, he, he just they gave me my chance to play in the first team, mm. and they was like, they just loved me. And they was just like, listen, like, if we don't take over the club, we're going to take you with us. So I took it with a pinch of salt, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So at the time, his friend was, like, in charge of, like, he had, uh, one of the coaches was close with at Seville, and the other one at Verona. Mm. So he's, like, saying to me, listen, if this doesn't happen, you're going to go here. So I was just like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So then, obviously, one time I got a phone call, and they're like, yo, for, they, they didn't take over the club for whatever reason. They're like, mm. Verona coming to watch you. I was just like, kind of like, oh, whatever, yeah. no problem. Mm. Come, you're young at that time. They just they come watch me, done my thing in two games. Mm. It was like, listen, want you want you to come over? Went over there, and at first I was just kind of going over there just to be like, yeah, just just to look around. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, but when yeah, I went yeah. there and I realized how big the club was because it was like in a, like the yeah. equivalent of a championship here. But it's like it'd be like if West Ham were in the championship, that oh, big club. Okay, you know okay, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So I went there and I realized how big the club mm. was. Because obviously there's two uh, Veronas as Halas and Kievo. Okay. Halas are bigger. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. So I was like, whoa, like it's a big club. Mm. Sat down, proper office. Yeah. I could see the picture. <laughs> <laughs> Sat me down. Champagne. <laughs> I'm there like, it's like, and they did, they'd show me the contract and whatever. And I'm just there like, but like bearing in mind, like a year before this, like, probably not even a year, I was on like £90 a week. Yeah. These people here are dropping money on me and I'm like, Bro, yeah. like I can't. I didn't want to go. Yeah, I'd never really. I'd never been further than Manchester. Yeah, but yeah. I was just like, I have to go. But yeah, then when yeah. I went, it was different to um, what was promised. No, not not even that. It, it's different to now. Now these boy, young boys like Jude Bellingham and that are going over and they're getting yeah. a lot more help. FaceTime, 
yeah, PlayStation yeah, yeah, Online. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, it doesn't yeah. seem like everything's far. I felt like it's still connected. Was, it was yeah, when you felt transition. isolated. I, yeah, yeah. 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 I like literally like the phone calls were even costing me yeah. ridiculous money. There was no Skype and that. Then I felt isolated, and the family were here and that. And I just didn't like. I just didn't settle. I couldn't yeah. settle. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it, yeah, it's yeah. hard, man. But I, like, I think if that happened now, and I was young now, yeah. it would be easier for me. Yeah, default, default, default. Because you got all your friends on your social media back then. Is nah, you, you don't banana you don't. card fan. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, do you know what the funny thing was? A lot of the, a lot of the time I was spending. I remember one one time I got a hotel bill through um, for the phone bill. The phone bill was like four fifty. Do you know what I'm saying? And that was just from like because I was bored and I was yeah. just ringing home yeah. all the time. Yeah, and, yeah. and it'd be stopping us like ringing my mom or mm. ringing my boy yeah. Zika. I'd be like, "Yo, what yeah. are you doing?" And, and he'd be like, "Yo, we're going to Star City tonight." And I'd be like. They might start sitting, yeah. Try to get out Pull up in the car and that, you know what I'm saying? The punt over there. But, like, you know what? I, I'm sitting in a hotel, yeah. watching, like, flipping. What's that film with Jamie Foxx in where he's a taxi driver? Taxi driver with Tom Cruise and Tom Cruise. I know the one. Man. Oh, um, I ain't talking about Collateral. Or collateral, collateral yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah, watching yeah, that yeah. in Italian on a Saturday night. <laughs> in Italian. Yeah, I'm like, you know what I mean? But the funny thing was, he's talking about the racism thing, yeah. When we played against the the first the first home game, yeah, right. So I was on the bench. Yeah, we're there. So I'm thinking to myself, I will get to the stadium. There's no fans, and I'm thinking, all right, cool. I must get there a little bit later. Obviously, just mm. a culture thing. Yeah, go out to warm up. I'm like, well, what? I say to this brother, like he could only speak broken English as well. I was like, mm. yo, what what time did he let the fans in? Yeah. He's gone. Oh, the fans are not here to like obviously, but in a broken accent. Like yeah. he's like, oh, the fans are not come today. I was like, why? What do you mean? He's like, ah, oh, they banned. I'm like, why? They're like, oh, I'm making monkey chants. I was like, raw. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yo, they didn't tell me this. <laughs> but like, yo, that that for the first home game, yeah, you know? the first Ooh, home game. Like, just... But that was around the same time. I don't know if you remember when England played Spain. Yeah. And White Phillips and that. Yeah, now that was that two years before. So I kind of that was in Spain thing. So yeah, yeah, abroad, okay, okay, okay. that was like the norm. <laughs> not the norm but you yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying yeah, like yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah, it yeah. Go, bro it goes on 2020 21 <laughs> over here yeah, at yeah, the yeah. stadium's Chelsea brother yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mill, Millwall oh bro yeah. don't even start with <laughs> yeah. <it. laughs> yeah. yo <laughs> boy, we played against Millwall obviously certain people they will be like they don't I think this is racist yeah, for yeah. me personally yeah. come out the tunnel there played against Millwall now and the geese is gone but it's to warm up and he's like oi Davis I've looked at him. I don't really normally look, and he's like, "What's on your neck? Your prison number?" And I'm just like, "Wow, like, would you say that to a white user? You want to say that to a white user? Say what you want to say. You want to call me the black sea? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just like, nah, man. But everybody knows what what I've gone for Millwall. Yeah, you know yeah that, I, mean? I call that creative racism. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he fought outside the box yeah, with that one. Yeah, you know yeah. what it is? You remember when we're playing at Cheltenham? Mm. Playing at Cheltenham, and the, there's a fuffle in the middle of the pitch. One of the players, the centre half, come over to Melis. Melis is there pushing somebody. He's not heard him talking. You know? He's turned mm. around to Melis and he's gone. Oh, blood! Don't shoot me, blood! Don't shoot me. I remember that game. Do you yeah, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I'm like, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, I turned yeah. around to the geezer. I was like, "What you want?" I, like that to me is like you yeah. stereotyping. Yeah, therefore, mm. so it just therefore, sometimes therefore. can be a form of racism. And do you say, man, listen to Stormzy and mm. Grime and the urban scene? <laughs> so mad. But um, all right, cool. So we had a little discussion in our group chat. Yeah. Um. This week, and it's surrounding uh, Harry Kane. Yeah. Now, Harry Kane is one of the most prolific strikers in the Premier League. Um, now we're saying, since Spurs are doing how they're doing, not doing very well. Yeah. Should Harry Kane leave in the summer? I've had this conversation a couple of times with people. If I was Harry Kane, mm. I would leave. Because I just think that you don't want to go for your whole career scoring bag of goals, but... If it's your if it's your boyhood club, would you still feel the same? I I supported Arsenal from from when I grad. That's what I'm saying. So if you was at Arsenal, <laughs> if you was at Arsenal as Harry Kane, yeah. in that same situation, you yeah. would leave Arsenal. Yeah. Okay. But not because just because I just think to myself, do I want to realistically go? For, you've got players that are not on Harry Kane's level, nowhere near Harry Kane's level, and they've got Premiership titles, they've got mm. Champions Leagues, etc. Mm. Now, Accolade, yeah. I would want that. Yeah. Do you mm. know what I mean? Because people talk about Shearer and whatever, but. Shearer had won a premiership, won a do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and even still, I know he went to his boyhood. People will turn around and be like, oh, Shearer went to his boyhood club and that. But yeah. don't get it twisted. They broke the world record transfer fee to get Shearer. They wasn't mm. Newcastle now. Yeah, they yeah. was like Chelsea back then, do you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So he went there expecting to yeah. win things and it went. It didn't happen. Yeah, yeah. But he, he made that move 
for that reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have liked to see if he'd have made that move if Newcastle was Newcastle now. Yeah. I don't think he would have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? But, um, obviously, everyone's saying he's trying to chase Shearer's record yeah. in the Prem. But as I said, like... What, what else is he going to chase? That's all he's got to chase, isn't it? I, I, I thought Mourinho would have won something this season. Honestly, hand he up. He still can. I thought he would have won Europa more specifically. Mm, I, I, I had them... Up there. I had them to win something. Yeah. But after seeing their performance, even like last week. Yeah, they're, they're struggling still. But you know what? Everybody comes from Mourinho, yeah? And Mourinho, I heard flipping Amari Sterling. <laughs> Shout out, Mars. You know, <laughs> you know what? Like, in, obviously, I'm Arsenal. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I don't want them to win nothing. Yeah. But at the same time, I'm not a hater. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm not yeah. a hater. I can appreciate good players, good, like, you know, good teams, etc. But this team was failing from before the Champions League final, you know? Mm. They was failing. They, they, they hadn't won a away um, games for however many games before yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They stumbled their way to the Champions League final, which they don't. You have to, yeah, you have yeah, to give them yeah. credit. Mm. But this team was failing then. They needed investment back then. Yeah. They've not changed. And then they bring in Bale. And then they're like, they expect Bale. But Bale's not played in 15 months. Yeah. And then when, and then when they do give him a bit of game time, he shows them that he's got quality. Then he says he's going back to Real Madrid. Yeah. And then they're like, oh, he's disrespected. The- How's he disrespected the club? Nah, you've, no given like, you've given him mm. like six weeks worth of football because before that he was getting 15 minutes and that, do you know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah. These, they need to invest and I don't think that they can afford to yeah. invest in a squad. I think it's the chairman, personally. Yeah, I think they do have the money, they just won't do it. I don't, think I don't blame Mourinho. I just feel like, again, it's... Mm. But how much money are you going to have to spend to change the squad? Because you because you, you can't. Just so how how many players do you think they they need to like say they need they, a centre half for a fact. Just yeah. one. I I think they they probably need two, but you you seen what Van Dijk done for Liverpool because mm, yeah. Liverpool were poor before they got Van yeah, Dijk yeah, yeah, back. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Then he showed up everything. Yeah, but there ain't really many Van Dykes out there. No, now. I know, but so, I'm just saying one centre half that could shore it up a bit more. Yeah, do you know what I mean? I think that they they probably need. I think they, I think they could do with, I think they could do with another striker, because mm. like as much as people like, be like, oh well, Kane plays. Sometimes you need somebody that's going to chip in with the goals as well. Kane yeah, can drop yeah. deep and do his, do his thing. <clears throat> yeah, you know what I mean. Like you need. Well, that's what I thought about that. What's his name? Vinicius. Yeah, that, that yeah, other Brazilian. Brazilian striker. Yeah, but apart from Song and Kane, where else do the goals come mm. from in that team? Obviously, Bale mm. done his, his thing for a little bit, and Bale's. That's the problem, isn't it? They ain't got, they ain't got enough sources of goals. Well, when it. Aubameyang don't play now it's like oh he signed his new deal he's, uh, no, he's in a bad run of form what about the, the other 10 man on the pitch mm. don't, don't blame Aubameyang mm. people are quick to jump on him do you know what I'm saying mm. his goal record says you can't chat to man you, know <laughs> you can't chat to Aubameyang <laughs> now it's simple man's come here yeah. and you can't chat to him regardless yeah. I think Lacazette's a better player but Aubameyang is a beast in front of goal bro he just yeah, bangs he's goals, goals. I, yeah, yeah. I'm glad you said mention Lacazette because I feel like a lot of man slate him in the group. No. He needs to no. go. Mm. No, Every no. Arsenal fan in the group yeah. hates him. I think nah, he's, he's actually a good player. A good player. He's a good bro, player. Sick, yeah. sick. He just he's, not, he's, not, he's not the yeah, Lacazette, Lacazette from Leon, mm. but he's still a good player. Oh, he yeah. contributes. You say that about the Lacazette from Leon. Lacazette was playing 90 minutes every game, bro. Mm. Certain times he knows if he doesn't, he's playing with pressure. Because if he doesn't yeah, have, yeah. if he doesn't play he's one dropped. for two, yeah, or he's getting dragged after 60. And yeah, you can see yeah, his yeah, body yeah, language. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in, as a striker, I played here, yeah, right? Like, mm. I sometimes I know. Yeah, like, yeah. And I'm like, oh my, I start to panic a little bit. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. You, you see your next man warming up and that. As a mm. centre half, you're not going to get dragged. Like that, unless you're having a... Sh- <laughs> Yo, no, but... <laughs> man can get dragged, man. No, I've seen it. It's you know, happened. You know, you know, like, a lot of the time, as yeah, a striker, yeah. if you're not winning, yeah. you, and if, if the manager's like, Ooh, and I've had that before in my career, where the, when the manager's like, he's getting 60, 65, and you're like, oh, I need to... And you're playing with that pressure. Yeah, Let yeah, Lacazette yeah. play 10 games. Yeah. I guarantee he bags goals, bro. Yeah, yeah. And he does a lot for the team. He does yeah. more for the team than the Bamian. Yeah. Uh, I, I think his hold-up play is... Sick, yeah, sick. And he's only small, backing that little mm. fat bum in. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know them, them ones there? Do you know who used to be Yo, sick Mark. at that? Yo, you, know Mark. Sick, you know who used to be sick at that? You remember uh, Ebanks Blake at Wolves? Yeah. yeah. Bro, yeah, yeah. round in the box, yeah. You roll in that ball, yeah. Backed in, mm. boom, rolled, yeah. Bang, <laughs> lapsh, goals. Yeah, like I said, it's the same, bro. But you, yeah. have, you have to play to a man's strength, bro. Yeah. Mm. Um, moving on to the next striker we talked about, Sergio Aguero. Bad, bad boy. Man can't um, yeah, I don't think no one can chat to him. Best However... Best now, in the Prem for the last 10 years. 
I, I, I don't know how far that goes back, but ten, two thousand and what? Yeah, yeah, eleven. Yeah. If it's happened to Thierry, then yeah, yeah, yeah. Thierry's the only one I can talk. Best best striker for me for the past. Eight to ten years in the prem, Ro- yeah. Rooney Rooney had that blocker period where I felt Rooney. Was yeah, Rooney has to be in the, in the yeah. conversation. Yeah, yeah, therefore, yeah. Um, where does he go from now? Because obviously, it's I'm been saying he go back, he's going to Barca with Messi. Uh, that's if Messi stays, bro. I that, think that's what they're, like, they're supposed to be like best friends, isn't it? So I'm thinking Messi's saying to him like, "I'll stay if you come," basically. And they've got. Do, do you have, I don't know if you ever seen that thing where the, in the World Cup when uh, the Aguero was on the bench in it. Because mm. obviously, if whatever the manager weren't really feeling him, idiot man. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Serge Bank's goals, bro. You know what I'm saying? Get him on the pitch. Yeah. But um, he, uh, Messi turns around and he goes, oh, put, uh, put Kun on. Yeah. And mm. they put him on. That's that. Like, Messi's turn around yeah, and the yeah, manager yeah, put yeah, him yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. So if he's telling him to come Barca. He's coming. Yeah. But, I don't, but to be fair, I want to see it. Aguero can go anywhere. Yeah. Like, regardless, <laughs> like, he's had, a, he's had a, a poor season, obviously, he got. Uh, a bit injury and injury prone and then, in it, and, then, yeah. and then he had the COVID. But yeah, bro, you you get him back fit. Mm. Yeah, elite. But that's that's the thing. though the question in the group was that basically that he wouldn't. He, he's never going to get back fit because he's he's too old now. He can't. Ha- he's had too many years in the prem where it's too mm. physical for him. And his body can't handle it. But 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 people said that about Suarez. Oh, he wasn't cutting at Barca. Now he's now he's now he's a top scorer in the in La Liga. Yeah, he's doing a mad thing. You know what I'm saying. Look, <laughs> people turn around and be like, oh, he's lost his legs and whatever. Yeah. People are always quick to to point out the negatives. What about the positive? The positive yeah. is he's paid to score goals and, and he's he a top goals. scorer. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Say no more. Yeah, true, true. Me personally, I'm not I'm not saying anything against Aguero because I know he will bang. Yeah, yeah but listen, the respect I got on this guy's name for when mm. Aguero! Yeah. Even that hurts me, but Bro, still, I have that to respect is him. Cause... One of the top five for me moments in Premier League history. Nah, that's the moment, bro. No, no, no. Like, it is, as, you know what? You're not, you know. Nah, nah, but, but you know what? <laughs> yeah. so at certain times, you just have to, you just have to be real in it. Yeah, I, 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 as a day. football fan, bro. Yeah, yeah. I, I can applaud it as a football fan, but I'm saying, as a United fan, no, it still hurts. You, do you know what? Just think of that, yeah. Them two are rivals. Man United, Man City, rivals regardless. Yeah. Man City had never won it. Noisy neighbours, whatever. You just won the Prem. Yeah. You just two minutes away. Exactly. <laughs> so that's <laughs> what you have. Certain times, you just have to give credit where credit's due. I yeah, do. Like, yo, that doesn't mean it's going to stop the pain. That would did, never, that, that did, would, I don't think that will happen again in my lifetime. Yeah. I hope I'm not. Lie. <laughs> did it hurt you when Ronaldo scored a hat-trick at Old Trafford? Not as much because it, was, it didn't mean as much. Okay. You know what I mean? Like That yeah, was yeah, like, true, true, literally, true, true, we just won the league. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Phil Every Jones is celebrating. Say, I never forget. Minutes, yeah. We are champions yeah, of the country yeah. again. Oh, no, yeah, I, know, I, I played with the goalkeeper as well, Paddy Kenny. I know he let that in. Because you know? <laughs> <laughs> QPR was safe in it. I know he let that in. You know, hey, Paddy's my guy. Yeah, but I know Paddy was thinking about the Guinness after the game. Hey, uh, uh, listen, I know Paddy. Paddy let that in, bro. Hey, Paddy. Hey, hey. hey. Like, he's, he's a bad you. you know, I'm gonna come find you, bro. He's a bad you. Alright. Oh, um, so yeah, it's that time of the show uh, where we like to quiz our guest. Oof. Um, so I hear you're Arsenal fan. Yeah. So you get ten questions. Oh, yeah. Uh, you got three minutes to answer the ten questions. Yeah. Half of the questions will be based around Arsenal. Yeah. The other half will be just football. Yeah, general no, knowledge. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, you get a point per question. You get correct. You can pass the question as well. So can I come back to the question? Yeah. If yeah, you yeah. pass it, you can come back to it. Um, and what else? The highest score at the minute is six. Six, yeah. Six out of ten. Who's that, Nathan Cameron? Three or four? Yeah, like a three or two. You got like a three or two. I was surprised. was like a three or two. I thought you did it right. I don't we'll know. Check, I check, check the scoreboard. Just don't get that relegation zone. Also, we're taking your first answer, so... Yeah, yeah, have yeah. a think before yeah, whatever you say first. Yeah. Um, the first answer is the final answer. So, PSC, you got the clock ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three minutes. Uh, let me get the question. I'll wait till you finish the first yeah, question like, before I start. start yeah. the test. <laughs> <laughs> right, are you ready? Question one What season did Arsenal last win a double trophy? So, what season? I'm looking for the season. 2004. Was it 2000? 2004 is incorrect. It's the 2001, 2002 yeah. season. Yeah. Yep, where they won oh, the yeah. Prem and the FA Cup. Question two: What season did Arsenal get sponsored by Dreamcast Sega? I want to say 99, 2000. That is correct. Cheers. Well done. Uh, question three: Name me three Spanish players currently playing in the Arsenal squad. In the squad. 
Three Spanish players. Uh, Sabellas. Yep. Uh, oh my days. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> Pass that. I'll come back to that. All right. Question four. Name me five players currently out on loan from Arsenal. Well, I don't check for them. They are on loan. <laughs> <laughs> Come back to that one. Come back to that one. Come back to that one. Come, Yo. come back to that one. All right. Question six. In the 2017 Champions League round of 16 game between Man City and Monaco, it finished six six on aggregate. Yeah. Monaco advancing through on away goals. Name me five players from that Monaco team. Uh, Mbappe. Yep. Arcal. Yep. Mendy. Yep. Um. It's the midfielder called man. Um, that went Chelsea but uh, Ayoko Back Ayoko so, yep. Ayoko One more um, Halfway gone I'll come back to that one Okay I've got one, one name oh, Yep yeah. uh, Question seven Name me French Three French managers That have managed in the Prem Julier Yep Um What? <laughs> the seat's Man's, gone. <laughs> Man's gone blank, you know. Um, Your top manager? Oh, yeah, we'll be like that now. Yeah. Oh, I'm trying to think of other people, to be fair. Um, who have I said? Julie? Um, Benga? Yep. 40 seconds. Come back to that one. Alright. Uh, question eight. You are currently one of four players to have scored a hat trick at U twenty one international level. Can you name me the three others? John Hartson. Yep. Ched Evans. Yep. Oh, there was somebody kind of recently. Oh, I don't know. This is thrown out there. I'm gonna say Tyler Roberts. Incorrect. It was Lee Jones. Uh, question nine. But Can you name me two players that have played with Messi and Ronaldo at club level? Two players? Yeah. At club level? At club level. I'm not including Dybala, basically. Three minutes is up, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm relegated. Yeah. Yeah. Relegation. You got a chance to finish this question? No, um, that, that played with him at club level? Yeah. Give you the last 10 seconds. I got a Scooby, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that was time. Time yeah, done, time, yeah. Time. All right, no, time's no. done. Um, so let's just go through the questions. Um, question one was, what season did Arsenal last win the double trophy? They yeah, won the yeah. FA Cup 2002 season, so 2001-2002. Um, you got the Dreamcast one correct. Oh, yeah. uh, question three, three Spanish players, uh, Bellerin, oh. Ceballos and... Pablo Mari. Pablo Mari. I didn't even know that Pablo Mario was Spanish. To be fair, <laughs> Bellerin talks like he's from 15. <laughs> from the end, anyway, isn't it? You know what I'm so I wouldn't even thought about Bellerin, mm. but obviously it's. it's um, question four Name me five players currently <laughs> out on loan. So you had uh, Saliba, Torreira, Maitland Niles, Joe Willock, Gwenduzi, uh, Kalashniak, and Mavroponos, or whatever his name is. Um, question Which one? Six, was it? The, um, the Champions League yeah, one? Yeah, Champions League. Five players. Uh, you had Mbappe, Falcao, Bakayoko, um, Mendy. Mendy, Fabinho, Fabinho, Bernardo Silva, Lamar. Yeah, that was the one I should have got, Lamar. Yeah. He should have he got that question. Yeah. Uh, question, I think this was question six, actually, sorry. <clears throat> Name me three French managers. Obviously, you had um, Wenger, Julier, and you got Claudio Poole. Um, what's John Tigana. Yeah. John Tick and I should have probably yeah, got. Yeah. But I wouldn't um, have got Paul. Alain Karin for Portsmouth. No, I wouldn't have got uh, him. Remy Gard for Villa. Probably wouldn't have got him. Uh, who else was there? I think that was it. Uh, question eight. Are oh, you done that one? Uh, it was Lee Jones. I wouldn't have got that one. <clears throat> question. Uh, I think question six I missed. In Arsenal's invincible season, which player played all 38 league games? In the Invincible season? Yeah. Whoa. Played every I'm single league game. game. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I actually don't know that. Um, it's 
rather going to be the goalkeeper or Saul Campbell, I'd say. Uh, it was the goalkeeper, Jens Lehmann. Yeah. Um, German brother. Yeah. Madman. Cause a fight in an empty room. <laughs> That's enough in Champions League final, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Can you name me two players that have played with Messi and Ronaldo at club level? Yeah, uh, Gerard okay. Piquet and Henrik Larsson, and then that Carasa oh. is brother. To be fair, I wouldn't have got that one. I, I wouldn't have got that. Yeah, Piquet is kind of like a, I thought Piquet was like an obvious one. It was. It's not obvious, but. Can you really play at Man United? Do you? Yeah, that's, yeah. Like, yeah. that's, that's why. It's when, not you, when you speak about Piquet, nobody thinks that. It, like, yeah. Unless you're a United fan, yeah. like obviously yeah, we are. Yeah, obviously, yeah. I, I, I only do, I played with a brother that used to live with him in it, and he always mm. talks about PK. Do you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. But apart from that, I would never. Yeah. You know, like oh, PK. Yeah. I remember when PK was at United. Like, never. <laughs> the, the only memory of, I have him at United was when I watched him play against Birmingham reserves, and he got really beat up. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so, no, no, no. And then, like so, a week later, we went to Barca. I was like, oh, <laughs> okay, it gets like that. And the last question was, name me three players that have played for both Arsenal and Spurs. Um, wow. Saul Campbell. Yeah. Um, oh, man. yeah that's where I got stuck to. <laughs> <laughs> played for Arsenal and Spurs. Apparently there's Bear. I don't, I don't know. It must have been before my time. The only... Nah. No. Is there a lot of recent ones? Yeah. Adibayo. Now nah, it's only oh, three. Yeah, well, there's loads oh. before our time, but Adibayo yeah. and Galas. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Them three. You so, know what it is? Like, more time, I'm thinking about players that we've taken off them rather mm. than players that... Yeah, obviously, yeah, yeah. Galas is kind of... Galas went to them, but Adibayo went to a couple of clubs first. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, you always yeah. forget. You know what I'm saying? Mm, true. All right. Uh, that leave or left you with... One. One, one point. Why? One point. <laughs> passes. One point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. In the relegation, so, it, got, it relegation. got close to a few. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's, he's just <laughs> Yo, so like, one, you one, gotta get half points. <laughs> really. You gotta get half points. You're yeah. off the bottom on goal difference. <laughs> Yo, certain times you got, it gets like that, you know. He goes the same. Yo, seriously, stay up in that league. Yeah, the money stays the same, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like getting a cut on the money. <laughs> right, it's that time of the show. Fraud watch. Jeez. Ah, them a fraud. Ah, them a fraud. Welcome to Fraud Watch, where players, managers, or anyone involved in football have bamboozled the world into thinking that they are better than they actually are. Fraud Watch. So, uh, well, Fraud Watch is basically players or managers, anyone involved in football that has bamboozled the world into thinking that they are better. Than they actually are. So some of the players um, this week we're just going to do the guest and then. Oh, okay. You have to be one. fair. Courtney stole my one. I was away. Oh, okay. And Wobie was mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so some right. players that are currently on there: Tammy Abraham. So what? So what are you asking me, or are you telling me a player? Or um, do I no, you're ask, asking you who do you think should be added to the should be added the, the long list. That's the long list <laughs> of fraud watch, and this is just based on this season. So, like. But can the player be doing well, though? Because like, obviously, like I'm, fi- I've got somebody in mind that I think is mm. a good player. Yeah. But I think yes, you can. Because Tyro Mings is my perfect example of that. Because I put in mind, even though I rate him as a player. Yeah. But I don't think I think he's he's still overrated, which is my reasoning for putting him on. Like the player that I would put on would be very controversial. Like this will not go down well. <laughs> it's alright, but there's a lot of controversial <laughs> shouts. Been so I'm gonna give you a big controversial one is Thiago, for example. This season, I come from Bayern. As a but do you know what I think? And, and I've I've had this discussion with bare people. You have to, people are, are blaming him for slowing down the play. Mm. Mm. But Liverpool in general have been a shambles. Yeah, hundred yeah, yeah, percent. Yeah. Mane, hundred percent. The, the front three have not been apart from Salah. Like obviously, I know PSC don't really rate Salah. Like that, but <laughs> I mean, Salah's sick. Yeah, he bangs goals, bro. He, he, his goal scoring record is it's it's embarrassing. Yeah. So apart, Mane's been poor this year. Firmino's been poor this year. Do you know what I'm saying? Trent's been poor this year. Robertson's been poor this year. Van Dijk injured. Gomez. Mm. Matip. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. Goalkeeper's been good. I know we had two shaky games, but he's been good. He's yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what? You're expecting a man to come in from a different league, never played in this mm. league before. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Henderson's injured. So you're telling me if Thiago went into that team last year? Yeah. Bro, man, certain, mm. man would have, certain midfielders would have died. Would have <laughs> the man, I can't chat to Thiago, you know. Thiago's won everything in the game. I see certain commentators. Oh, yeah. is this... Bro, he's had a better career than... He's won everything. Yeah. 
Because yeah. we'll never think like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But yeah. Except the prep. Back to the fraud <laughs> watch, yeah. <laughs> right. So I think this geezer's a good player. Yeah. I think he's sick. Like I said, I never like to... Okay, dis- your disclaimers in. No, 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 no. <laughs> like, anybody that's had a better career than me, I never like to disrespect them. But I think English players get hyped up way too much. 100%. Right? Price tag is crazy. It's mad, right? This one's going to be crazy, I can tell. It's mad. Like, English players, they get gassed up. <laughs> the only time I'm going to have to get from walkout. No, 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 no. No, you won't. But I know who you think I'm going to say, but I'm not going to say him. I think he's having a good season. But I'm seeing him getting linked with the moves... And I'm thinking, burn up the suspension. I up. don't think you're better <laughs> than the players there. The only thing the media are pushing that they got an agenda. They're pushing you to get a move mm. to where you'll play. But the person that you're playing ahead of, you're not better than. Yeah. Okay. And like I said, I think this guy's having a. I think he's having a good season, yeah. but I just think that he's just getting hyped up, and they're just going to end up knocking him down when he gets his move. Yeah. Gonna be like, oh, he's not good enough. Yeah. yeah. There's actually two, to be fair. There's two, but the, the main on, one I'm on, on about, on, the, one, on, the main on. one I'm on about is Declan Rice. Okay. That's, that's and okay. I, like I said, I said it, I think he's having a good season, yeah. but when I'm seeing him getting linked with moves to Chelsea, yeah? So you don't think he's good enough for Chelsea? I don't think he's, he, he, it's where they need to pay 100 million, where he's much better than Kovacic, yeah. better than Kante. I'm, I've heard, like, Chelsea fans before, before a couple couple months back on Talksport, talking about getting rid of Kante. But Declan Rice, Declan Rice is very good. Don't get me wrong, yeah. I think he's very, very good. Mm. Better than Kante. <laughs> better than Kante. <laughs> I, I think he's got heard two that. medals. <laughs> <laughs> two like, don't, medals. Ever, don't ever get it twisted. Like, two medals. If he yeah. wasn't English, if he stayed playing for Ireland, he'd be very good, don't get me wrong. Yeah. Mm. And he'd be rated, but... He wouldn't be getting talked about 100 million. Yes, yeah. bro. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I'm not... Yeah. Tr- so, so people are listening and try to cut... Listen to what I'm saying, take yeah. it in. Yeah. Um, he's had a very good season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm saying... I think he's overrated. He's very. They're, they're talking about him. They're like, pushing no, him. Yes, he's a star boy. Yeah, yeah. You know poster boy. So who, who was the other one that you had? I think he's very good. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think he's good. I think he's good. I think we he's don't good. need the five minutes, bro. This, 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 who is it? This is, an, this is another one. I think the media behind it, where uh, is Henderson at Man United? Yeah, yeah. I agree with that. I put my throat. I seen, I seen, I seen, uh, I seen uh, the, the, one of the goals he can see. And listen, goalkeepers. Concede goals. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I understand. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? I've, I've scored against the brother, so I know, <laughs> I know where his weaknesses. You know <laughs> no, all jokes aside. Yeah, like he, I seen sitting a couple of weeks ago. I, feel, I don't know if it was in the Europa League or whatever, where it kind of just went. He, did he come out for it or did it go like there? And he yeah, just, yeah, you know, yeah. Like, there's a difference between playing at Sheffield United and Man big, United. Big, yeah, 100%. there's a massive difference. Do you know what I'm saying? How yeah. the, like like for instance, back in the day when Francis Jeffers was ripping it up at Everton, mm. there's a difference between mm. Everton and Arsenal. Yeah. Obviously, at the time, Arsenal were leaps yeah, and bounds yeah, yeah. So yeah. I think that the media, the English media, are just pushing, 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 mm. and then they don't get to where they want to get to, and then they just gun them down. How yeah. many players you seen them do that with? Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and and with certain men, like they'll try and bring up. When they want to bring him down, they start dragging personal things up. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And that, mm. He's got a gun tattoo on his leg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, but Sterling, don't get twisted with Sterling, though, yeah? As soon as Sterling has a dip in form, they're yeah. ready to rip into him. Yeah, of course. 100%. They're ready to dip into him for what? 100%. For what? Mm. You know what? <laughs> no, but I'm saying, like, because... Yeah. I think Marcus Rashford's there as well. Mm. Not about as soon as anything. No, but you think the thing with Rashford is, because of what Rashford's done with the children and that, he yeah, always yeah, kind of, yeah. like, get put there, but... No, nah, but they still tried to come through and no, saying certain about, um, about the houses. Yeah, but yeah. he bought he bought this what five houses this, for his family. Yeah, yeah. or something like this. Bro, this is, come twenty on, grand. Like, the, when Raheem Sterling spent twenty grand, and the people are like, they see that and they're like, oh, he spent twenty grand. I don't earn twenty grand in a year. Yeah. That's you. Mm. This brother earns two hundred grand a week, yeah. and his mum yeah. raised him, mm. drove him to everywhere he needed to be, looked after him. If you want to spend twenty bags, bro, on the kitchen for your mum, yeah. spend twenty bags. Mm. Yeah. If you want to spend two hundred grand on a whip for her. Do what you're doing. That is your money. Facts. That is nobody else's money. Mm. Do what you want to do. That's yeah. not nobody else's facts. business. Big facts. Mm. 100%. Big, big you know facts. what I'm saying? They're just hating because they're like, rah. Like, they can't do that. Mm, mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's outrageous. It's, there's a lot of that. Mm. There's a lot is, of that. It's outrageous. From the media. Yeah, yeah 100%. Facts. Right, PSC, you got anyone for... I haven't got a person. Yeah. I've, got, I've got a club this week. Yeah, go. <laughs> no, you got to come with a person too, then. Uh, yeah. You got to come with a person. Nah, I, I, is no, anyone you... involved in football? <laughs> Let's see. Who you got? Oh, you've got, no, but Barcelona you've got... as a club's already on, on forward watch. Because no, what they're doing to Messi is 
No, but Barcelona are the second biggest club in the world, bro. Huh? They're the second biggest club in the world. Exactly, and they're playing 4 4 2. <laughs> like Burnley. <laughs> How are you going to change Barca into Burnley? And it's better not to end up on yeah. four. So you, you've got to come with a club then and a player. I want to hear a player because I want to know, I, I want to see where you're at. You know what I'm saying? What what your thoughts are? It's one of your old clubs, though. Wolverhampton Wanderers. Yeah. Because I don't know what's happened to. Them. I know I know, I know their star happened. striker got I injured. To them. I know their star striker. Got, but if you rely on one player, you are a fraudulent club. Bruno Fernandez at Man United then. If he comes out, I don't think I don't think we drop bro, down the league. No, to the, bro. I'm no, not no, trying no, to say no, you no, drop no, no, out no. the league, bro. No, no, no. But listen, though. Listen, though. Man United in the top four, bro. Listen, though. Listen, though. Wolves were pushing for Europe. Yeah. They're now borderline pushing for relegation. They're down in that that neck of the woods mm. from but you, one player. Yeah, but do you know what? I think that you need to remember, bro. What he brought to the table in that team it was, was goals. Yeah, but it was, he's a focal point. He's a big player for them. Yeah, I understand yeah, yeah. that. And I, and I think like if the you, same way Van Dijk is an important player for Liverpool, exactly. I understand. But that. You know, I think there's other individual performances haven't been up to par at Wolves as well. Like Ruben Neves, like he was phenomenal a couple of seasons ago. This season, I don't think he's even started. But most sometimes of the games. it's like it's like when when certain goals wrong. Mm. Like so, like it's like they they, 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 they they bought the young boy in from Portugal. Yeah, that was like, no, but he might be good. He's only young. That's what I mean. Like it, it, it was, it wasn't the right time for him to be the main man. But you'd be better, you'd, you'd have been better off spending that money and bringing in Callum Wilson. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Callum Wilson proven to bag goals. Do you get me? Handful. Look what he's done for, for Newcastle for, for any mm. defender mm. in 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 a, in a, in a well, Newcastle still down there. Yeah, we <laughs> no, see, no, 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 no. Saying, where, 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 where would Newcastle be if he, he wasn't there? Uh, well, yeah. He got injured, and that's why down there. Yeah, I'm saying, imagine if he was at, when, was at Wolves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I understand what you're that's, saying. Mm. All I'm saying is, like, but all I'm saying is, Wolves are a fraudulent club. But like I said, could they be losing? Thinking but, but, but they're that, good. That's a clear case. Then I'll put a club on. Go on watch Man United, bro. And you know why I say that? You know why I say that? Because because like listen. All the money that they've spent, yeah, bro. They've spent bag of money, you know. Mm. I agree. They, this, this is I the, agree. this is mm. the biggest club in the country by country mile. Yeah, mm. right. This is the the public. You hear that part, yeah? You no, no, no. Yeah. Get that part. I, I can't even argue the, with this the, because the, the no, no, no. Third, but I, I've, I've said it myself. Yeah. Man United at the moment are in a in a, in a false position. There's no yeah. way they should be second. Bro, I watched There's the no game way. on weekend. I locked it off at half time, fam. <laughs> This game this bro, is no, like, horrible to watch. I, I seen a picture the other day, yeah, and it was basically saying leave Old Trafford and you thrive. And it had four p- people there. It had um, Jesse Lingard, Lukaku, Depay, and Di Maria. And I thought to myself, these have all been after the Fergie era because mm. that's all men that talk about. Oh, yeah. Pre- mm. oh, Fergie, Fergie era, Fergie era. Like, mm. Fergie's gone, in it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You need to move on. You're yeah. a massive club. Yeah. When Real Madrid, somebody leaves, etc., they move on. Mm. These clubs... Big, big clubs. They don't take long in transition. Even mm. Chelsea. Mm. Chelsea, mm. madness the, happens. The, the, the man is it. ruthless. Yeah. Russian. Yeah. Tell yeah. But, they'll, but, they'll, but you know, in the next couple what, of years, they'll win something. What, what, what is also a big difference, though, is the David Gill that left in the, in the back room as well. Because mm. obviously he was a big part of how United done business. Yeah. Yeah. And now that the business that they're doing, he's just not good enough. Yeah, but bro, yeah. I hear that, what you're saying. But at the same time, yeah, you've had certain players. I look at the, your front three now. Cavani, sick. But this is the thing though. They, they bring... They're bringing big names rather than good signings. No, no, but I'm, I'm saying... So same with Barcelona. What, what they did, they just bought a whole lot of Griezmanns and all these it's people. It's like Sanchez. The Sanchez they signing they was, was crazy. But they brought them in anyway. But do you mm. know what? And now Man United's doing the same thing. Bringing look, in players that don't fit I, United. I look at your front three, yeah, for instance. Cavani, sick. Rashford, yeah, sick. Greenwood, I, f- I think Greenwood's cold. Yeah. But I look at the three players there, three of the, mm. three of the four players that I've just named, yeah, that, you, that Man United let go. Who you support? United as well. United, right. yeah. I look at three or four players there. The mm. pie's better than Rashford for me. Yeah, right. Mm. I honestly do think that. Yeah, I, f- I, think I think he, he would. I think he, Lukaku, he's a quality yeah, player. He's better than Cavani. But Lukaku, he's not a United player, though. But bro, what is United at the moment? Because that's the, the, you can't say at the moment. Though. We no, need no, to go no, back yeah, to being yeah, United. But, 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 so if you just go, okay, it was United at the moment. But, but, but you're never going to get back to where you need to be. Everybody talks about this, the 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 way that a certain club played. When certain managers leave, yeah, right, mm. certain things change. That's You're talking about nine years ago, bro. Mm. That way's changed. But the culture that, of, of the way, club shouldn't change. But the, the style time, of playing, but, how you but do it. Obviously, the, 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 when Fergie enough. left, it took, it took bare man with him as well. Like, retired, like David Gill. Um, Carlos Queres was a big impact yeah, as well. I think he left before. He yeah, left he left before. before. Yeah, but all, left. all these men leave. And then it's like, we're trying to bring in these legends. Like, we brought in gigs. Then Van Howe, then well, sorry, not even before them, man. We brought in Moyes. Yeah. 
That's what, that, that was the big problem. But why? Look at what he's doing now. At what? A smaller club? No, but that's his level. Do you know what? West Ham, they're no, no, more no. of a similar, but do you know what similar it, level. Do you know what it was, yeah? Because I heard Rio Ferdinand talk about him and he said, like, basically, Rio Ferdinand was like, they would be like staying games till a certain point when Rio Ferdinand's like, hold on, we're Man United. Like, exactly. I get that. Mm. But at the same time, I think that Man United were kind of in a decline anyway and Fergie worked a miracle because mm. they had a lot of ageing players. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. That. Yeah. You get me? So then it's like, all right, Moyes has then tried to bring in a new way of style, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Mm. It's not gone down well, but then he's got the chop. So then it's like, now they're getting... Van Hal, bro, listen, Van Hal... Man United fans will be like, oh, you don't listen. Listen, mm. Van Hull's serious in the game. Mm. Mourinho, I think he's I think serious. Like yeah, Marie, Marie, I liked Mourinho as a signing. I prefer, I prefer Van Gaal. Solskjaer is not yeah. serious in the game, bro. Yeah. I, played against, <laughs> yeah. I played against one of his Cardiff teams. Yeah. Not, they're not serious in the game. You yeah. know what I'm saying? All I'm saying is, yeah, like, Man United, I think, for me personally, are the third biggest club in the world. Mm. I think mm. Real are the biggest. Yeah. Or Barca. They're one of them two. And then Man United third. Yeah. It never takes these massive clubs that... Why is it taking Man United so long? Mm. It because they made a horrendous Chelsea. decision giving Moyes the job. Yeah. But it's not... It's, not it's a horrendous fault. decision. Oh, it's not Moyes' fault. Uh, I think like now... It's not now 100% it's... his fault, but there's a big percentage that's his you know fault. What, you, know what, you know what they went wrong as well? With, with, with Mourinho. Mourinho's asking for centre-half. Yeah. Centre-half. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bring it in, bring it in. They didn't back him. Ended up giving mm. him a shot, but he won the Europa, Europa League. He the league finished cup. second. Yeah, and he won the and league cup. It, yeah. yeah. And then it's like... Oh, a year later, you're going by Harry Maguire for 80 million, but you could have got 50 for the year before when the manager was asking. Yeah. And then you bought in Solskjaer. Silly. Yeah, it's, yeah. Ed, it's Ed Woodward. On, I told you this, I'm saying. 100%. But Solskjaer had to get there's, the job. There's, yeah. there's not people uh, behind the scenes doing their job. My thing with Solskjaer, you don't get me wrong, he's a club legend. We don't have no style of play. No, like, you do. It, it, yeah, it's to me, to no, what it is, get to Bruno, hit and hope, Rashford chase. Nah, do you know what they're trying to do? They try to soak up the pressure and hit your counter team, but nah. we're Man United, that shouldn't yeah, be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which Palace, you go Palace back do that. Yeah, yeah, Palace do yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Palace yeah, yeah, yeah. pressure, and then Zaha will exactly. Break, so you see, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and then you're like, rah. But Man United, so Barca's turned yeah. into Burnley, and we've turned into Palace. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. a bit mad. But I, even Zaha, like Zaha, for me, you should have been still at United. He should play that. He play that, my guy. But yeah. your front three now is not like how you let Lukaku go. I will never know. I understand it, but at the same time, no, I, I don't agree with Signed it. Signed to Puma, fam. Because you didn't have no one to be facing. <laughs> you know it. what it was? And all the Man United fans, yeah, right, jumped on the bandwagon, jumping on Pogba. He's a bad egg. He's this, that, and the other. Nah, nah, Hold nah, on. Nah. Why is he a bad egg for? You know what? <laughs> no, but, no, no. <laughs> but, you know, like, but they jump on Pogba, and then Lukaku, because he's boys with him, they jump on him too, but Lukaku's yeah. goal-scoring record wasn't bad at Man United. No. Nah. Mm. He, he scores goals. Bro, he's a bad boy, man. Yeah, yeah. therefore, And therefore. I, I remember... Like, I, my, my issue with Luka- Lukaku was basically he, he his all-round game wasn't good enough to play at, at United. For what United need, they need more he was, from... He, from for, as his striker, he wasn't... But he needed more than yeah, just yeah, goals. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Any, 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 cause like you said, we're the third biggest club in, in the world. Yeah. At them kind of clubs, you need to do more than just score goals. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so you need to be like, technically. Latter, Latter you need to be, te- yeah, you need to be technically sound. And then Man United fans wanted him out at the time when he scoring goals. People are like, oh, you, as we all know, fans are idiots. Yeah, <laughs> 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 when Rashford, food, Rashford gets over the top. Hold on, this man scored twenty eight goals for you. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. But yeah. they or they're Brings thinking, off a man they're thinking to... FIFA. Oh, what would I do? Put the fastest Pace. man. Yeah, make him run. Pace. Dribble past everyone. Oh, oh Lukaku can't dribble. He's not as fast as Rashford. Yeah, bro. Like listen. You know what? Certain men, they don't even look. Ibrahimovic, for instance, doesn't probably bring to the. He doesn't bring to the table what he used to. But mm. what he like, as in a sense of f- f- on a personal level. But let me tell you this now: what he brings round him, exactly, will will lift them. That will mm. get results. Exactly. You know as well as I do. Experience mm. sometimes. Yeah, I've yeah. played in teams where I can't do what I could do when I was twenty six, twenty seven. Mm. When I was like thirty one, thirty two, I'd be like, "Yo, listen, you do this, you do that," yeah. and I've been bringing. And yeah, that's yeah, yeah. me. I'm not Ibrahimovic. Yeah. Ibrahimovic is directing people boom, boom, round. Yeah, yeah, Look at Milan. Yeah, yeah. They've yeah. been that close to winning for yeah. however long. Yeah. He's scored how many goals? How old is he now? 39. 40? Oh, 39, 40. 39 now, yeah. And just got back, just... back in the national team as well. Fam. Big, bro. This, got, and, oh, did he get two assists already? Bro. That's what I'm saying, man. That man's different. Are different. Different, piece. different, different. Right. Can we let him go MLS? <clears throat> um, so let's go on to our poll results. So last week, we had uh, Waza talking about Scholes was overrated because he hated that boy. At all the time he was at Man United, basically didn't win no player of the season. Yeah. He didn't win any. any Waza, you look at what here. That's personal what I'm accolades. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
when people mention, you know, you see these posters and memes like Zidane said, yeah. Scholes is the best player, but have you, it was his point was, have you ever heard anyone say it? You know well, obviously, mean? we don't know Zidane on the press level. <laughs> so, <laughs> what do you want me to say? Um, he was, he's saying he's a fantastic player, but he was definitely overrated. Do you know what it is? You see if Scholes is Spanish. <laughs> Man, have you beaten their meat over him, bro? Yeah. Here's a qu- here was another dis- debate. Um, do you put Scholes on the level of Zidane and Iniesta? See, this is the thing, but I don't put Iniesta in the same category as Zidane. I don't put, I don't put, I don't look at Iniesta and think he's similar to Scholes, though. Mm-hmm. Z- I'd mm-hmm. put him in more the Xavi mode. Okay, okay. Modric mode, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. Yeah, but, that makes like, sense. I've never played against Scholes, bro. Yeah. I know certain men that have. And obviously, I'll ask questions, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I played with him. Yeah. And I remember one brother that, that was at, um, come to Bolton from Norwich. You know when Norwich went up? Back yeah, in like yeah, 10, yeah, like yeah. 2009. And they said, it was like he had a force shield around him. This is like when he's like... At the I told you school. about the force field, you know? You might not listen to me. I told him about this force field. <laughs> yeah. They, they, they think like, it's a joke. It's said, a real thing. Yeah. They said that, like, he said that when it come to like players getting close, they could it was like he, it was five yards around, you couldn't get with it near it. And yeah, I was yeah. like, serious? Mm. And they was like, yeah. And sometimes you, don't, you can't see that on the telly. I, mm. We played against Croatia for Wales. And Modric played. And that was that was when I, was, I looked at like you know the elite mm. man, and I thought yeah. like a, a midfielder, and yeah. I looked at him, and I thought, yeah, you're, you're different. You yeah. can't. And we had like Ramsey playing, and Ramsey's bro, Ram Aaron Ramsey's bad boy yeah. player, yeah. He's sick. Mm. Couldn't get near him, bro. Could not get near him. And mm. I'm and I look at scores like that, like in that, yeah. like he, he knows when to play one touch. He knows mm. when to play the diag. Mm. He knows mm. when to like hold on to the ball. He controls the yeah, tempo yeah, of the yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, you see, like. If Skulls is Spanish, people will talk <laughs> yeah. about him in a different light. If it was Skulls A. You know what I'm saying? If there was a little accent on the E. No, yeah, 100%. Yeah. It's a truth, though. 100%. People wouldn't talk about him. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh. Because he's like a little short ginger boy. Everyone's From like, older. Oh, yeah, 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 don't get his, yeah. don't get the love. If he had a little tan, yeah, yeah. and he come with a little bit of a Rike <laughs> Glazes look, you know what I'm saying? People would be like, yo, he's a serious guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Skulls is serious. Right, so I put the poll up. Was Skulls overrated? Um... 79% of the voters voted no. Unlucky was it? So yeah, that it way. was a landslide. <laughs> um, it's outrageous shout. <laughs> uh, the next poll I had, uh, all three in their prime, he was better. Steven Gerrard, Frank Lampard or Paul Scholes. Scholes this me. is the old English debate. Who are you going for? Uh, for me, I think there's no question of a doubt for me, Steven Gerrard is. Like he's the, he's probably the most complete, all best round all midfield I've seen. Like you know, he can run, yeah, he can tackle, he could lead, he could shoot, he could pass, he could do everything. Mm-hmm. I think that Lampard Bad was goals. was very good. Don't like bro, man was scoring twenty goals a season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. The, the, like, but I just think he had everything. And the way I used to see, like, because I was young then as well, I used to mm-hmm. watch football enough. Liverpool would be. Dead and buried, and my mum would just bring them up from the dead. He was like Paul Bear for the Undertaker. <laughs> you know it's coming to the end. Lift, lift <laughs> and, and, and you know what I mean? Like, yeah. they, they, without him, yeah, yeah, yeah. there was nothing. You know I think, I mean? though, was it, was it in the group chat someone was saying basically, like, because he was at Liverpool where he was the only big player like that, like yeah. that was on that level, and walking to any other team. Yeah. Some of the players had to that. Go yeah. him. Whereas, but it, it doesn't if he was at a different club where, say, he's playing with Skulls. It's not always going to go through Gerard. It's going to go through Scott. I, I, I understand that as well at the same time. And he might have to play his role a little bit more. Or maybe mm. he could have been like, because obviously when he when he come through in his prime, like when he won the Champions League final, he's bombing, bombing, bombing. Mm. He could have had Makalele and somebody else sitting behind him. But yeah. like, so yeah, he could have done that yeah, more. Yeah, yeah, and maybe yeah. got more goals and got more personal accolades in the sense of mm. goals-wise, etc. But yeah. for me, you can't just put anybody in a team and then lift the whole place like that. Mm. Even Bruno Fernandes, do you know what I'm saying? Like, what mm. he's kind of done at Man United, even though he's not on Gerrard's level. Like, nah, nah, but, nah, nah, like, nah. you know, like, mm. how many players have they tried to bring in to lift the team like that? But do you think it would be different if he wasn't doing it for Liverpool, his boyhood club? What do you mean? 
Like, could you say he comes in and lifts the team? And like, would he have that same level of passion and commitment to the Maybe cause? not, bro, but it, it's one of them things, isn't it? Do you know what I'm saying? Where people turn around and be like, oh, if Messi left Barca, would he be the same? Mm. Like, no, he's at Barca and he's ripping it up, bro. <laughs> 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 he's got that damn respect on his name. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I don't yeah, care yeah, about yeah. him playing in England. I don't care about him playing in Italy or Germany. Yeah, yeah. He'd done what he needed to do and he... He's doing a Mazda there. Exactly. He, 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 was, he was the main part of yeah. the best footballing team yeah. I've ever seen in ever, my whole yeah. life. Yep, facts. Do you know what I'm saying? Right, um, out of 57 votes, I'm, I'm going to let you guys guess the order. One, two, and three. I think most people would say they probably... Gerard Lampard, Scholes, I think people would have said. I think Scholes would have come second. Well, uh, 20... <laughs> well, let me just go from bottom. So in third place, Frank Lampard, Oof. nine votes. In second place, with 23... Steven Gerrard. Yes, no, Scalzi. I'm not having that. <laughs> yes. I'm not having that. Paul Scalzi with 25 votes. It's close, though. It's, it's close. close. Me, I, all round close. player, I, I got to give it to Jezza, Jez, man. Like, How? Nah, nah, you, yo, bro, certain like, times. You're United fan as well. I know, I know, I know. Listen, not even the bias thing. I love Gerrard. I love Gerrard. In my Master League team, I had both of them. Yeah? But for me, Gerrard... Could do the the box to box everything. Could do everything, man. Everything, man. I don't disagree with that, but mm. me personally, I prefer skulls. Nasty that's that's as a biased well. thing. That is. Like, you can't tell me skulls weren't nah. nasty. <laughs> nah, Come but, on, nah. But he was like, he was accidentally like, nah. Pinching. There was Gerard, no accident in that. Gerard, Gerard, yeah. like, Gerard, definitely no accident in that. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Skulls. Fam, like, man, man said he can't tackle. He knows exactly what he's doing. Nah, <laughs> bro, he wasn't going for the ball. Ger- Gerard is just different animal. Different animal, bro. Nah, man. Athlete, them. proper athlete. It's, 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 it's a close one. Mm. Them man, it is athletes, close, bro. I can't lie, it is close, but for me personally, I'm scores. Mm. Right, uh, the next uh, vote we had, well, the poll we had up, the best Brazilian player ever. So we had out of four. We There's had only this, one. That's what I'm saying. We no, had, no, no, I don't this need, better be a lie. Listen, 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 listen. <laughs> I don't need to hear anybody else here. Yeah? I'll answer this for you. The best ever Brazilian is Ronaldo. Yep. R9, Facts. he's the best striker to ever play the game, Facts. ever. Don't tell me about anybody else. Don't tell me about Cristiano And Ronaldo, anyone that calls, yeah? him, calls him Fat Ronaldo needs oh, a slap. Ah, bro. In disrespect. Bro, listen, you can't believe them the things. I Ballon d'Or, yeah, and only played 18 games that year. <laughs> <laughs> it was like 17 or 18. How did he win the Ballon d'Or like that? It's something. Yeah, yeah, he's, 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 he's the, the goal. He's the goal. Andy Cole was talking about him on the radio the other yeah. day, and was just like, it's just one of them things you just have to see. And yeah. for Andy Cole, That's what I'm saying. big player, yeah, 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 one yeah, of definitely. Team, yeah. D- like club level wise. Yeah. Just, and yeah, he's yeah. telling you there's levels, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on, bro. Four. I don't need to hear um, Neymar, Ronaldinho. I don't need to hear. There, there was Manny <laughs> my DMs talking about Ronaldinho. Nah, do you know what? Entertaining wise, yeah. Ronaldinho was it? Was it? He's probably, probably, probably the best entertainment wise, but aren't nice the best? I mean, Ronaldinho carried Barcelona pre Messi era. Yeah, but yeah, he did, man. He, R9, was, R9. he was a joke. <laughs> well, that, that too. Um, but just to go through the votes, <laughs> out of 66 votes. I just want to know who came last. Uh, Neymar, with zero votes. <laughs> yeah, you can't get voted. I don't, I don't think that Neymar. He was going to pick Neymar well. over any of them. But <sighs> can I just say, say on Neymar before we go, before you go into the votes? Mm-hmm. Then, I think Neymar is the got the most ability in world football yeah. now. Yeah. Now, yeah. so it's a fair shout. It's a it's fair shout. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a landslide. I don't know about landslide. It's Bro, scary. the man doing rainbows every week. It's and people are like, oh, it's in the farmers. No, listen, man doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the Champions that's, League, bro. that's us, we people. <laughs> like, nah, no, that's you and no, Courtney. Yo, hey, let's bro, me. Listen, I'm telling you now, yeah, his ability is scary. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, who, no one is doing what he's doing with the ball. He, but you said, you said, but he like mocks it, bro. Yeah, yeah, he's like, disrespectful. With yeah, that's yeah, why I like yeah, him. yeah. That's why I Keep like him. Keep street every day. Do you remember when McTominay, when uh, Man United played him, and mm. McTominay smashed yeah, him, yeah. and then he made a point of embarrassing McTominay. And McTominay, yeah. to be fair, McTominay, I think is is a is a decent, he's he's good, decent, very good, yeah, yeah. but he's solid mm. every week, bro. Yeah. The way Neymar just treat him like, yeah. it's like <laughs> yeah. that's what I used to be at nine, bro, when I was in the year, year ten and eleven. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna make you look stupid yeah, in front of the guy. You know what I'm saying? He's like, your thing there, yeah. <laughs> Make him look like an idiot. You know what I'm saying, yeah, bro? Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, Neymar finished in fourth with zero votes. I guess none of the new generation rating him. 
Um, in third place, we had Pele with eight votes. But nobody's seen Pele play, bro. That's what I'm saying, man. So One Pele, it's, man. It's, it's, so people like... Burn him! Unless, you, unless, you're, unless you've yeah. got people that like watch your thing, yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah. are like 60 plus. <laughs> <laughs> in there. I had yeah. this argument with uh, Tyrese at Mansfield, uh, Sinclair. He turned around to me, he's trying to tell me about Ronaldo, uh, R9. Yeah. And I'm saying, you was only born yeah. in like... 2000 or 99 yeah, 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 yeah. you don't remember that and he's like alright oh, Thierry Henry but you didn't see Thierry Henry you're seeing YouTube clips you're yeah, seeing yeah, 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 I yeah. can only go off a man that I see how they made you feel up. when you, when you watch so them I can't talk about people t- I ask my uncle or people like that and they turn around to me and they tell me Gaza Gaza was a little bit before me do you yeah, know? I yeah, can't yeah, remember yeah, 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 yeah. T- my stepdad was telling me about Maradona that was before me do you know what I'm yeah, saying yeah, but yeah, I remember yeah. from 96 onwards yeah Who's been certified? Yeah, and there's, yeah. no, there's two players really that are the most certified for me. And it's R9, bro. Yeah. I'd fight a man when we was <laughs> yeah. Yo, bro, you're going to call him Fat Ronaldo, bro. Yeah, you bro. must want to get into a scoff, bro. Yeah, Not yeah, every yeah, disrespect yeah, a big yeah, man yeah, like that. Yeah, never and, and, uh, and Messi, bro, for me. Yeah. They're the two players that I'm just like, raw. Like, I got to throw Zidane in there too. Zidane's my guy. Yeah. No, nah, Zidane's sick, bro. Yeah, well, we're gonna get my defensive point. I've obviously said that, but I got to throw him out of the Yeah, we got to throw And then. He was my guy, man. So we're going to the best French player of all time. Uh, out of the voters, we had Platini, Zidane, Henri, and Mbappe. Out of well, Mbappe shouldn't even be in there. Yeah, bro. true. Yeah, um, <laughs> Mbappe name I didn't need to be in there. <laughs> I just threw them in for the new, the new gen. <laughs> might, have thought, think, might think something different. I, I think you've kind of got to throw in players that probably are rather at the back end of the career or they're yeah. retired. You know True. what I mean? Yeah, because yeah. I don't think... But either way, there's only one winner, no matter who you put in that category. Uh, out of 63 votes, uh, Mbappe finished in last place with zero. Uh, Platini. But who's seen Platini play? I've not seen Platini play. I'm 35, bro. Yeah. I've, 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 I've seen clips where I've never watched like a full game. But you need to see... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't... You know what I mean? Yeah, 100%. That man playing against farmers. <laughs> <laughs> um, in uh, second place, Thierry Henry with 12. So 12 people picked him over Zidane. Mm-hmm. Mad. And then, uh, yeah, 50 votes. Yeah, yeah Dean Zidane. How Henry is not won that, man? Is it your what? thing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing your thing, the bias thing, you get me? Like, you know what I'm saying? 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 How is that being biased? You know what I'm saying? No, you know what I'm saying? No, man. No, seriously, like, I think, like, on a serious note, like, I'm not a biased man, like, Zidane, yeah. but what he done for France, bro, it's a mad thing, bro. Mm, yeah. Like even when they when, when they didn't when he didn't play, they, remember the was it the Euros where he was injured until the third game and they had big man like yeah. Vieira, Harvey, yeah, yeah. they had all of them. Yeah. Man, Petit, there, everybody. And, win, and yeah. they needed to win the last game, bro. Wasn't yeah. even fit, bro. Yeah. That's, what I'm That's how much they relied on him. Yeah. You get me. Big facts. Um, all right, and the last one was greatest English player. Ever, I can only talk on like I said. So don't be coming with Bobby Moore. <laughs> um, <laughs> with Bo- Bobby Charlton is on there. Peter Shilton, <laughs> um, <laughs> Alan Shearer, yeah. Wayne Rooney, and Steven Gerrard. Wayne Rooney, bro. No Phil Foden. <laughs> well, you got Mbappe and the, and the young dance. Yeah, true. Where, where's Ro- 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 Rooney's for them? Man, where's, where's Grealish and <laughs> Rooney, bro? <laughs> yeah, it's Rooney, man. Rooney, it's Rooney, um, bro, Rooney. Tied in. Well, sorry. In fourth place, we had Alan Shearer, seven votes. Uh, tied in second, we have Charlton and Gerard with 10 votes apiece. And then the winner, by a landslide, 32 votes, Wayne Rooney. He doesn't get the respect mm. he deserves, man. 100%. 100%. He doesn't get it. And also, I did, I did message in the group. One man did message me as soon as I put that up and said that skull should have been in that category. Yeah, you know, yeah. what, he, but you he know what you've got to do, I think, with your, with your polls and that? I think you have to do it. With what age, what range of age you're kind of reaching for? Yeah, yeah. Because, like I said, unless you've got people of like dad's eras and whatever, mm. you know what I'm saying? That like you can't yeah, have yeah, Bobby yeah. Moore. So, so the plus anybody, can't I'm surprised you got ten votes. <laughs> anybody that's putting Bobby Moore, or Patini, they're idiots. <laughs> <laughs> if they're like under forty, they're idiots. I'm not telling that to their face. <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. Yeah, Bobby, Bobby Charlton. Uh, I'm looking at who's voted. I'm like. <laughs> I'm not one of them man there that watches the wrong button. Still. They, they the wrong button. <laughs> <laughs> them man there that watch a YouTube clip or Instagram. Yeah, yeah that's all it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A, lot living, like that, yeah. a lot of man see. Oh, mm-hmm. seen, that's why when people talk about Sancho, bro, I've not personally seen enough of Sancho. Yeah. Yeah. This is exactly not, not what this is million, exactly why though, or it was. This is exactly why I say bonus no stats because that's all people go after. Don't actually watch people play. You can manipulate the stats, isn't it? The stats are way. You can manipulate them still. You see YouTube as stats and they're like, oh yeah, he's the best in the world. Stats are nonsense, bro. 
They are Thank nonsense, you. bro. Because mm-hmm. you know what? You look at Modric, for instance. Mm-hmm. Like, but bro, like you look at Leon Britton, yeah, like good, very good player. A lot of his passes were side to side to keep it moving. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? His, what, his pass completion. His pass completion was a madness. It was, it was like than 96%. Gerard's, yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, 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 I remember yeah. that. I remember that. Yeah. You look at Kevin De Bruyne's passing stats. They it's might forward. be they, they might be 70%. Yeah. But bro, he's caught him, man, when them passes, yeah, bro. Yeah, 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 Do you know yeah. what I'm saying? They're all bro, forward. I mean, he don't I pass sideways. I played with man that are crabs. A, yeah. And they're going side <laughs> to side. And I'm as a front man. I'm like, yo, roll it into me. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. I need... To see, that's why when people are coming with stats and oh he's done this or he's done that, do you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, it, that can be drop me out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, he ran, he ran. We had, we had a manager before. Idiot, you. Talk about ten k in the game, bro. But it just depended because you had certain man that literally took that and just they didn't want the ball. They just were running. So if you're just running, what about the ball? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's yeah, not yeah, athletics, yeah, club. Yeah. <laughs> Man, are not facts. trying. Yeah, yeah. Get, uh, big, big facts. It's not. Yo. So, don't you think stats are needed to kind of set like, like a measure said, to a degree? Like yes. I said, always yeah. stats should be guidelines. Yeah. I, I Nothing said, more. Okay, I cool. seen you man put up a setting about drug, but I seen you put it on your page. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I was fuming, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hey. "How dare <laughs> you? <laughs> hey, <laughs> tell him again. Don't ever disrespect. <laughs> hey, <laughs> big studge. We're talking to you. That's big studge there, bro. Listen, said he watched him for how many ten seasons. <laughs> Said that Leon Storage, Le- Leon, Storage. Nah, Leon. Leon. Uh, come on, bro, you're better than that, you know. Fam. And he yeah, said he's man. watched him for, nah, for nah, 10 years nah. and he's only had 220 goals. This season. Saying, but but sometimes it doesn't, it doesn't matter about the tw- what are you doing in big games. He affected mm. you, think about all the games, yeah, what he ever needed to stand up for, and that's when you really, yeah, that's the only question people <coughs> will always say about Henry. Yeah. It was like when Arsenal re- and I love Thierry Henry, yeah, that's mm. my guy, bro. Yeah, they can't chat about, yeah, him. but <laughs> when Arsenal yeah. certain Ties needing to step to the big occasion to get us over the line. People will question that. As much as it bonds me to say it, drug but always Champions yeah. League final. Nobody else is scoring that header, bro. Yeah. Nobody yeah. else is scoring he's that a, header. He's a definitely a man, a clutch player. Yeah. hundred percent. When 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 just just little things used to do. I was a, uh, you know what? When I first started coming up as a striker, I used to like look at man like Henry and I was quick at but mm. get to a point twenty four, started getting a few injuries. Yeah. I thought I need to change my game. Started watching drug but it all yeah. extends, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'd literally watch him on YouTube for hours, bro. Yeah. I swear that I'm not even exaggerating. And just little things he done like when the ball's coming into him, just buying cheap freak. It kind of like what Harry Kane does, but yeah, better yeah. than yeah, Harry yeah. Kane are doing yeah. it. And people always come at, oh, he's diving, he's diving. No, he's clever, bro. It's yeah, yeah, about yeah, game yeah, management, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Therefore. He's cheating, uh, no, bro. Mm. He's he's playing the game, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drop <laughs> yeah, yeah. was the best for that. Yeah, rolling round. Man's all six foot two, on that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> six foot three, bro. We, I played yeah. at Chelsea, yeah, bro, one time, and I, and I went up like to him to like get his shirt and that, and I sized myself up, you know, like bro, I'm, how big is his head? Nah, bro, he's massive, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's why oh, he's trying to go to Champions League final. He's massive, bro. I played against him at um, Galatasaray. And uh, for when we played like a preseason friendly yeah, at Mascai, yeah, yeah. and I was on the bench with him, so we were warming up together, and I looked at him and I was like, "Rah, your head, is bro, huge. nah, no joke here. <laughs> Why man's head yet? Yeah, it's like you know, like a van, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like, bro, it's like he got a big head, but and his head, and he got a tiny little ponytail. Now he's bored, bro. He looks bigger, bro. <laughs> he looks bigger, but bro, man, man cannot chat. Like that's when I need you need. That's when big players for me. Yeah, that's yeah, when yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because certain times you can have man that will do it. And that's always been my thing with Pogba. Even though I like Pogba, do you know what I'm saying? Like, I think that... Ability when, is... When, when, when United need him to step up, mm. I feel like he, he's only done it once where I thought to myself, like, right, then that was in the Man City. Derby. Mm, yeah, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. And he come, come back yeah. out on this bad boy thing. Yeah. I need... Like, that's all I'm saying. Like, I'm saying like... Yeah, I'm not even going to get into it. I'm not even going to get no, into it. No, no, I'm saying... <laughs> certain times for back. me, that's when I mm. judge players yeah, and I'll be yeah, like, yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. elite players. And I think to myself like... Mbappe, for instance, bro... All the man in that France team, you had how much talent? Griezmann, all that. Yeah. Did you see the, the, the uh, half time? The, uh, they had the camera in the changing room. You ever see that? Mm-mm. When they won the World Cup. YouTube, YouTube yeah, 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 in the yeah. final. He turned around and he's saying, Give the ball to Kylian. They're scared of him. 
the man telling him to, the manager Deschamps telling him to give it to a 19 year old yeah, yeah. big players step up in big moments bro yeah, yeah, and yeah, that's yeah, for yeah. me yeah right yeah. he could retire tomorrow or yeah. his form could go down he could end up at flipping Colchester and then Gravesend or wherever yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but in the next three years that to me would always be a big player and that's yeah, for me yeah, yeah. why Drogba will always be bigger people will turn around and say about Shearer and whatever bro Drogba is above that Shearer for me mm, for that mm, mm, because in big moments big, he steps up bro yeah fair play um, right, so just to finish, wrap the show up, we want to get your all-time Prem 11 formation and the manager. All right. So, manager, Arsene Wenger. Yeah. Goalkeeper. So, there's the bias. Dave Seaman. <laughs> David Seaman. Yeah. Uh, left back, Winterburn. Right back, Lee. Bro. I'm joking. Yeah. 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 I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> Nah, do you know what? Nah, seriously, I was, I was just whining him up. Yeah, I was wondering if Arsenal got to start. Because I, okay, okay. I, I, okay. I know my man's coming right back, Gary Neville, left back, Phil Neville. You know what I mean? No, 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 no. Yo, Van der Sar is going. Nah, you bro, you're the worst, bro. You, talk <laughs> about you bro. Nah, nah, nah. You talk about me. Nah, nah, nah. 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 Yeah. Just because I think he come and people are look up, like I said a lot in this country, a lot of the time people look up all the negative nonsense and whatever. Mm. But what he done for English football it yeah. changed a lot. You know what I mean? I've watched certain things and the players are just like, yo, there was a big drinking culture at yeah. Arsenal. You had man's out of flipping. Tony Adams. Tony Adams in the match. And, and then man, they're having lock-ins on Tuesday afternoons in the local <laughs> pub, the King's Head and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. He, he changed the, the culture. Yeah, yeah, you know definitely. I mean? So for like... And nobody was really challenging Fergie like that. Then you had Kevin Keegan, but Kevin Keegan wasn't yeah. challenging him like that. But he yeah. come in and he, he shook up Fergie yeah. for a good while, yeah, for yeah. Good 10 years, you know what I'm saying? Um, and then obviously you need to look at the club. People were like, he was like, top four is a trophy. But bro, they wasn't giving him no money to spend and he was keeping us in the top four all the time. Now look mm. at us, bro. Mm. Arsenal fans on ATV, whatever, talking their nonsense. So, oh, get him out, get him out, get him yeah, out. Now yeah, look, yeah, yeah. You'd, you'd love to have him back. Yeah, you'd yeah, definitely. pay a percentage of your wages to have him back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So I'd go for Wenger. In goals, I'd go for uh, Petr Cech. Uh, not for his Arsenal days, for his Chelsea days. Yeah, yeah. His personal accolades. Before the helmet. <laughs> no, not even before the helmet, bro. He's, yeah. he's big, bro. Like yeah. his personal accolades, etc. Was, was mad yeah. so I have to give him credit Arsenal he wasn't really the same as he was when he was at Chelsea he, mm. he was good for Arsenal but yeah not to that level yeah, prime yeah, yeah. yeah. Chelsea the prime check was yeah. you know what I mean yeah. um, left back there's not even a question Ashley Cole was just yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ashley Cole was, we're going to just like that that one after yeah. for the rest yeah, of the yeah, shows yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Ashley Cole just I, I remember seeing things like on Twitter him and Nathan Baines and I'm just like excuse me like, yeah. what, what, are you, what are you talking yeah, about it's not no, but, but even you know what always sits is mad and this is why I, uh, it would never happen in another country mm. this is what I'm saying about media driven media didn't like Ashley Cole in it because yeah, he wasn't yeah he wasn't like you he know like what, he wasn't what they he wanted. wasn't a yes man yeah he'd just be like yo listen if I want to do my thing yeah. And and go to clubs with Jacob Mellis and whatever. <laughs> yeah. you know shout out like, <laughs> Shout out to Mellis. If he wanted to do whatever he was doing, yeah. you know what I'm saying? He wasn't, there was zero yeah, yeah, Fs yeah. given with it. Do you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. They didn't like that. They expect yeah. you to be like, they expect to be able to harass you and you still come out and be polite to them. Kind of like what Kyle Walker does. Because yeah. Kyle Walker, I feel sorry for him. Mm. They're man there mentally just trying to, remember when yeah, they, uh, yeah. he drove to his, and, uh, his mum's in lockdown or something, her sister's. Yeah, and yeah, they yeah. followed him, bro. They followed his trip. You not see that? Nah. They followed him. So it's like he left at twenty past eleven in the morning. Went to his sister's in Rotherham. Went to Sheffield to his mum's, and then drove back. Yeah. And it was like, oh, it's just they're just harassing him. Yeah. But it still comes. I know he came. Yeah, you know, like a party or something. Isn't it? Yeah, like don't get me wrong. Yeah. Obviously, man, <laughs> certain time be idiots, but yeah. these man. Mm. But Carl Walker will still be like, yes, sir, no, sir. Well, actually, Cole is just that kind of like, bond you, man. I ain't, I ain't yeah, interested. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. And that's the attitude that yeah. you should have because some of these players now they're more powerful than they realize. Because yeah, back when Ashley Cole was playing, mm. they didn't have social media, so the press could write whatever and they couldn't. Yeah, respond. Yeah, 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 hold it. Yeah, I don't need you. Like what Raheem Sterling kind yeah, of does. Yeah, yeah. Mm. But right back, left back. Ashley Cole, right back. Kyle Walker for me. I think. Jeez. I think Kyle Walker's sick, bro. I just think like. Jeez. That's his bias. That's his bias. He likes the I'm not putting Lauren. That's I'm not mad at that though because that season. Lauren's Lauren, not better than Kyle Walker, bro. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say he put him in because uh, invincible season. Yeah. He was on job. Yeah. yeah. So I can't, I can't be mad at that. <laughs> I can't be. 
But for me, Carl Walker is is not good enough defensively, bro. But I'm telling you now, yeah. But he is a physically, bro. He's a specimen. He's a specimen you know what when, when, when man tried to run him, bro. But if that's the case, like, he, he just he, he invites not, it. Not, but not, for me, I would prefer Mika Richards in his prime nah, when he first come no through. Chance, bro, now bro. think about it. When he first come through as the 18, 19 year old, I like. He I was like, he was doing more I, than him. I like I like I like Mike as a player, but he's at City when I was. This there, what I'm bro. saying. But bro, like Kyle Walker, is is he was physically stronger than him. He's faster than him. He was doing everything. He was doing the most. Bro. I don't think he's faster, bro. I don't nah. think he's faster. Maybe it's, it's, it's yeah, debatable. It's, yeah, I know what I'm Kyle Walker is rapid, bro. That's the <laughs> but what's not rapid. debatable is who's stronger. Because yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. But you're going on like Kyle Walker, some slouch. Nah, 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 nah. Not even. Not even. He doesn't get. Nah, nah, nah. Hundred percent. He bodies man. Regular, regular. His pace. But that's what gets him out of a lot of things. But bro. But it, is what it is. but it is what it is. Bro. But like I said, this is your team. Yeah, I'm, yeah, that's yeah, just my yeah, opinion. Trying yeah, to get involved, bro. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, no, it's on you, man. It's on you, man. Come on, you're interfering number two. You get, uh, yeah, no, on, it's on you, man. I'm out. Uh, don't, don't play it. Even Paul is a manager. He's a manager. I'm the manager. I'm out. I'm out. Centre halves. Both of them. You can't question either of them. Real Ferdinand and John Terry, bro. Like, I think that was my team. team. You've got the same back line. Like, <laughs> like, like, John Terry, bro. Like, I, was so to- I put John Terry in mine and I was, man looked at me sideways. Why? Because it's John Terry. Why? Because I'm saying, of, I, I was the next them, man to put him in apparently. I didn't even know. Yeah. Because, them, because of the racism thing. I, 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 the, 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 apparently, the, other players are better than him. But people just say that because, could they see that he's slow? Like again, it's the FIFA stats. That's all it is. They say, bro. oh, if it was if it was playing FIFA, yeah. I would never bro. play John Terry. John Terry but was a monster. We're not playing FIFA, playing real life. A monster. Bro, I, I went to I went to watch him. Yeah, when when Blues played Villa, right? This is a obviously mine was thirty six, whatever. Then the balls are coming up here yeah, to the, to the Blues front man, and my man, most centre halves, yeah, will run and try and like win the header, mm. boom, bang it up. The one of every centre half I've ever played with done that, mm. which is the normal. Yeah. I've never seen, I've never seen no one different. Really, mm. might see the odd man take it on their chest and that. Do you know what I'm saying? When mm. they're bullying man and whatnot. Yeah, I did that a couple of times. But, yeah, you have. Still, <laughs> I've actually seen you do that a few times. I've done that a few times. I've seen things happen for a few man. <laughs> but bro, this geezer was jumping with the centre forward and was directing his headers into the path of the fullback, bro. Mm-hmm. Like. I don't know, mm. it's a couple times too, stuff. <laughs> like, oh, like every, every header, rather, yeah, than, yeah, yeah, rather yeah. than being, just winning the ball, yeah, he, yeah. he's literally, he's making passes, hoping for the second ball. Bro, like, he's yeah. getting the ball, left foot, he's not even left footed. A lot of men don't know he's not left footed, mm. you know. Mm. Yeah, because because he, he managed to hit that diagonal with his left, no Listen, problem. When he had them, when he rolled them socks up to his kneecaps, and then he had them umbro boots, bro, bro he was <laughs> a monster. Mm. You know what? Like a lot of people will look at the whole thing with Anton Ferdinand and look at the thing with Wayne Bridges misses. Forget that, bro. Mm. I'm talking about. Because people don't forget that Suarez is pinching man's skin and them things. Yeah, 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 we'll still turn around and put him up there. Yeah. So, you know what? Whatever, he's done that. I'm not condoning whatever. I'm not condoning that. That's that. I'm on about football, bro. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, literally yeah, about yeah, football. Yeah. And for yeah. football, he's a better defender <coughs> yeah, than Rio as well. As yeah. a defender. 100%. But Rio was a monster on the ball, bro. Yeah. Mm. Rio was like John Stones, but stronger and a better defender. Mm. Do you get me? Yeah, like I agree. literally, mm. I agree. it was ridiculous on the board. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Like <clears throat> he come off games. Yeah, I, I remember before. Uh, do you remember Jay Buffroyd? Yeah, 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 I remember him and Ron Ricketts having an argument when he was at Wolves. Yeah, and they was arguing one time on the bus, and, and uh, Jay Buffroyd was like, "Yo, I've seen Rio Ferdinand come off." Uh, after games in December with no mud on him because <laughs> 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 he reads the game that well yeah, do you know what I'm saying yeah, like John Terry's coming in clean, slide yeah, up because yeah, yeah. <laughs> they was arguing about John Terry and Rio Ferdinand yeah, and yeah, yeah. Jay Buffway were had man saying nothing about Rio they was, he was like listen I've seen him come off with no dirt on him you know what I'm saying like, yeah. but that he was he was serious yeah. uh, midfield three I think I'm going to go with a three okay with like a deep liar or like a, like a ten I think I don't know man I think I'm gonna try and keep it like as a team you know what I mean because you could put like scores Gerard Lampard in there yeah. if that's what you wanted to do but I think it's unbalanced you know mm-hmm, what I'm saying mm-hmm. so I kind of keep it try and keep it kind of balanced so we know Gerard's going in there since you love Gerard and that you want to just big him up on that but yeah <laughs> I, you can't not put him in there now after all the big talk I think for me 
I'm gutted that I gotta say I gotta leave Kante out, even though I think Kante is probably the best I've seen at doing what he does. Yeah, yeah. But I'm gonna put in Roy Keane. Jeez. Because I think Roy Keane for me, and that's and 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 Roy Keane and Patrick Vieira neck and neck. Like I, that was my era of football yeah. coming up, man, mm. beefing, yeah. pushing man in the face. Patrick Vieira never used to back down for <laughs> yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. Literally, he, like he would bring smoke all the time. Mm. But for me, Roy Keane just what he used to bring out in others as well yeah 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 and his standards yeah, and I think that's why probably his management has probably not gone to the level that he probably should have gone because he demands so much I've played for managers like that where they were so good mm, and they can't understand yeah. how you can't yeah. do what they can they could you know what I mean Henri seems like that type of manager like the way yeah, he yeah. was batting up the man at Monaco oh my but it prob- probably, it's probably right yeah, though because yeah. obviously like I remember uh, mm. you know Ashley Williams yeah, yeah, about, yeah. he's telling me about um, Laudrup yeah, 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 and he'd say about Lauja he's just like he gets so frustrated with us. Swansea these times here mm. in the Prem, but he mm. said he gets so frustrated with us because we can't do what he could do. Mm. Yeah. But Laudrup was that's what I mean because things that will be simple for him, yeah, is yeah, complicated. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, he's up there, my bro, yeah. Real Madrid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. bro. So like, he's yeah. He's, yeah. he's got icon card from yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's not a joke. He's a big player, bro. Yeah, like don't ever get him. Yeah, big player. Facts. So you got Roy Keane in there. I think Roy Keane. For the simple, like even the, I remember watching the event, the semi final mm. when he mm. played, and, and he, bro, he dragged the team through. Bro, like he got, he, he missed the next game. He got mm. yellow carded. He mm. got, no disrespect, Gaza. A similar thing happened with Gaza in nineteen ninety. Like where right? we, yeah, where we got angry, whatever, mm. whatever. Yeah, and yeah, it kind yeah, of affected. Yeah. I heard it affected yeah. the game. I'm not one of them man that was like it affected the game. I watched the whole. No, I didn't watch the whole game, but yeah, obviously, yeah, I, yeah. from what I heard, it yeah. affected it. And mm. Roy Keane was just like, "Yo, forget this. I ain't playing." Whoever's playing in the next game, button, song, what's in my bunk or whatever. I love it, bro. Move on, bro. Move on. Move on. Keen pulled the team through. Yeah, yeah. So, in front of that, the two I'm going to go for in front of that, or maybe one at the side, Gerard. He's the best. He's the best. He's the best all round midfielder I've ever seen in my career. Like, sorry, in my lifetime. Like, his career is a madness, bro. I think he's sick, bro. I think he's sick. Like, that Champions League final, bro. Even when extra time, the mm. down and out, he had to go right back and mark Serginio. Yeah, I, me- I remember playing right back still. He, he was, he was, was like rapid. job still. He looked like the best, best he, right back I've seen he, in a while. He's so. having Serginio off, bro. Serginio's yeah. rapid, bro. Yeah. Mm. Had him on toast. And this one here, uh, this brother is the madness, bro. And I'm not just saying it currently. I just think, I think he probably won't get the he won't get the praise that he deserves when he finishes worldwide in the Premiership, he will. But KDB worldwide, yeah, yeah, I knew. Yeah. It. I, knew <laughs> I just think that I it, think it, yeah, I think it's a shambles that it wasn't in UEFA Team of the Year. I think it was like was it not? But you know, what I think that is though. I think it's the club that he plays for yeah. as well. Because I think UEFA don't like English Premier. Fa- they don't fan. like Man City either because obviously they're you know what? Try I think that sometimes that if you're at Real Madrid, yeah, you're yeah. already elevated, and I think yeah. that more time when you talk about greats, like even some of the players that Chelsea have had, you look at them. Mm. Worldwide, would they be spoke as as greats? Because mm-hmm. in this country, we like to think that if you do it in the Prem. But I remember when I went to Italy, they didn't talk about the Premiership like we talked about the Premiership, and yeah. the Premiership was rival. We was over here. We was like, it's the best league in the world. Then yeah. it is now, but mm. they would be like, Nah, Serie A is better players. Blah yeah, blah blah. Yeah, like Trent yeah, yeah. Alexander, for instance. People mm. like, like, he's the best right back in the world. Well done. You're not seen certain brothers that flipping <laughs> Bayern and them thing there. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? I think yeah. over here we're quick to, but. I think it's because we watch them week in week out. Yeah. Is what I said, and it's like Which with why, foreign leagues. Why I say you can't be calling them the farmers' league? Nah, from I'm watching off a league on. Nah, you know, on, <laughs> man can't be getting slapped seven one every week, fam. I, I, th- I think if KDB was at Real Madrid or Barca, he would go down. As, I've never seen somebody that can cut. There's not many players that can cut balls through defenses like him. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. he's got every weight of pass. Yeah. He's got the the drive. He's got the, the, the whip. Fred. Mm. He's got everything. Like, everything. He's, he's got, got both feet. Yeah. He's crossing. He's can like, tackle. He doesn't yeah. even cross. Mm. <laughs> it's it's, 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 it's deceptively quick as well. <laughs> yeah, bro. Like, he moves it across the like ground. Little, it looks like a little steak bake. Like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine yeah. he's got like, you know, like him having yeah. a high body fat and that. But yeah. Because he's so good, bro. Yeah. 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 The front three for me is tough, but I'm going to go with Ronaldo on the left, because I just think that Ronaldo just yeah. for two years in the Prem, bro. That one don't even like, need explaining. Like, yeah, like, but no, yeah. but sometimes I think like if you're talking about a career, I'm not on about his career. I'm on about like 
what he did in that time and yeah, he got yeah. like whatever how many 100%. goals yeah, yeah. it was a mad thing bro if man can mention Yaya Torre for that one season yeah, Ronaldo yeah, for them two seasons Yaya Torre is a monster as well yeah. Yeah. Jesus I forgot about him <laughs> <laughs> but Ronaldo I need to come back to the far side the right side I play on the right up front there's no doubt it's the king Thierry Henry he's the best player that's ever played in the Premier I'm glad you put him down in the middle as well he's the, yeah, best, he's the best player I keep cheating and I know I put, put him left on the left, left. <laughs> he didn't play left wing in the Premier <laughs> nah I'm trying, to, I'm trying to that's what I'm trying to say I'm trying to balance the team yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying yeah, yeah. I think that do you think he would have been as good playing as a long striker though <sighs> it's one of them bro like uh, you just need to dash a DDA next to him or something like, I think that See, I'm leaving drug, bro. That hurts me, man. That hurts my feelings. Cause like, bro, <laughs> you can like, still put him in there. You still got one space there. Just put them up top. I don't know, man. It's lopsided, isn't it? <laughs> nah, bro. There's no balance in the team, man. There is, man. Nah, the man checking yeah. back in. Yeah, you're right, man. Saying about the number two, this, the coach. Get the sack, you know, fam. So you can get a job. This is what I'm trying to say. Like, oh, hey, man, man. I'm just trying to enjoy the game, nah. man. <laughs> I think, I think Thierry Henry, he set a different level of, of, yeah. of, of the way he played football. It was like, it's something that yeah. I, I don't the va va voom like, it, it just, it's like quoi. He's, he's like he's, he's like he's floating bro yeah. it's like yeah. he's floating mm. it's like he played on eggs bro it's like, like, it's like <laughs> you remember, remember the game when you played against Inter Milan and yeah. Zinetti, he drags oh, 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 Zinetti and is not rubbish bro, that's yo, a top he's, boy he's a legend bro he's a top boy cut back in on his right dragged it back up waited for him mm. cut back on the left slotted it bottom corner now do you know what I'm going to have to do is do a bit of cheating because <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm going to do because I was going to put I was going to put in bail I was going to put him bail on the right because what he done in the Prem for like a couple of years yeah. was wrong, bro. Mm, yeah. Yeah. It was wrong, bro. Mm. Yeah. It was it literally was wrong. Mm. But I have to bring bail out. As much as it bonds me to say it, bro, I'm going to have to bring bail out. I'm going to have to put Henry on the left. <laughs> <laughs> I have to put Ronaldo on the right. Yeah. And I have to put Drogba down in the middle, bro. So you say you listen to the number two anyway? Yeah, I, 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 I need to put... Just Make because, it upside. It just because I think like... It balances the team very well. Yeah. As much as I'd want to put Bale in there, yeah, 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 I yeah. think Drogba, bro, like like I said, mm. in any big game, bro, I always he used to terrorize Arsenal, bro, in mm, finals. Yeah. Also, yeah. Senderos is going to bed <laughs> for, for weeks. Senderos, <laughs> nice Saigon and that. <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know as well as I do, yeah. yeah. You know as well as I do, right, bro? There's certain players, and they've got your card. Yeah. It might not even be the best player. I've mm. played against man, right, bro, that you would look at and you'd think, people would be like, what was he like to play against? I'd be like, I'm not going to lie, I tore him a new one. Mm. And then they'd be like, who's tough to play against? And I'd say somebody, they'd be like, huh? Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, mm. who, who was that guy for you then? That was tough. To, I always found it hard to play. Apart from against. me, obviously. <laughs> I used to I find it hard to play against small centre-halves, bro. Because I felt like, if you, like with me, I, I'd want to be physical, yeah. So like when the ball's coming up, I want to put my arm there. Bare free kicks. Mm-hmm. Straight away, you're in the head. Yeah. Breath just sees that. Do you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, free yeah. kick. And it, I always mm. found like I didn't have... It, I found it hard to like kind of get where they... I always like to play against bigger centre-halves. Okay, yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. like, oh, that's what I wanted. I yeah, wanted somebody yeah, to try and be yeah, physical with yeah, me. Do you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I'd yeah. be like, yo, you don't know that I'm in the Emporium every night. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. Man, bench pressing <laughs> down here. You know? <laughs> but like, I wanted that. I yeah, wanted yeah, that yeah, physical yeah, battle. Yeah. Like, I always used to want to be able to touch players. Yeah, yeah. You get me? When I didn't... There was players that so, sometimes knew what I wanted to do, especially yeah. that players, you know, mm. maybe that I played, they knew I wanted to do that. Yeah. And they would, like, back off me a couple of years. And I'd be like, shit, shit. <laughs> and then before you know it, you, you, you're concentrating so much on where they are yeah. that the balls come and they've moved around you yeah, yeah, or got yeah. the little nick in. Yeah. And you're like, and your manager's like, get a hold of it. And you're like, yeah. wow, like, yo, what? <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I played, I think. Yeah, but stink Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all right. Yeah. You remember a brother called Lloyd Doyley at Watford? Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bro. It's not easy on the eye. Bear man would yeah. think he's shit, bro. Is it coming on? Is it? No, no, like, no. Bear man would think he's not. The, the audio still on. Yeah, yeah. Bear <laughs> man would think he's like they wouldn't. They wouldn't realize like they'd be like they'd watch him. They'd, he's not easy on the eye. Yeah. And I'm yeah. not even being disrespectful because my man had yeah. a sick career. He yeah. weren't good on the ball, but he was a solid defender. Bro, try and have this geezer. Rock. I could never get no change from him mm. ever. Mm. He literally was just like a rash. Yeah. He was strong. He was short. Yeah. Yeah, it just everything block. Every, you know, like yeah, he's always there. Yeah, yeah, and I just found like I was just like raw. Like, you know what? Like, he's one of them players that he probably never got the credit he probably deserved. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was mm-hmm. like, for instance, Wes Morgan. I used to like playing against him. Kinda yeah. like he was big. 
he was strong and I knew that if I didn't bring my A game mm. I was going to get ragged yeah do you get me mm. so I knew straight away like two weeks before well, we've got Leicester or Forest in a couple of weeks I'd be like yo I need to lift heavy in the gym mm. but it wouldn't mm. even necessarily I was going to get stronger in that time mm. it was just Men- in my mental, mental thing. thing yeah you know yeah. mental things have d- yeah, yeah, big yeah. gains yeah. but like with Lloyd Doyle for instance I wouldn't really think like that you think, yeah, you've got him, got him already. And like then, bro, you play against him and you just... Mm, monster. Before you know mm. you're getting dragged after 60, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you, you know what I'm saying? And you, yeah. You're going home and you're not talking to your family and they're like, oh, what's the matter with you? Yeah. You have to be <laughs> fucking you got dragged. Do <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying, bro? Yeah. But, yeah. Right. Um, Dave, it's been a pleasure having you on the show. Yeah, man. Love, man. Defo, Defo, thank you. Appreciate you for coming through. Um, where can people find you on the gram, Twitter? Um, I think my Twitter's like Craig Davis 28 or something like that and my Insta is like Princey underscore 28 I think or Princey 28 underscore something like that but to be fair I, I post stories on there I don't okay, really okay, okay, okay. <laughs> the last year we ain't been able to take no pictures I'm not one of the influencers that's flipping taking a picture for all these yards of old Tesco walking the dog in your mom's clay coat walking the dog in your mom's Sets yeah, out yeah, 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 yeah. All right, cool. No Techers episode 33 in the bag. Yeah, yeah. Peace.